dig this Man sharp and man like steel sharp and steel Understand me? Night brother, steel sharp and steel Steel sharp and steel, shit the whole team strong But steel sharp and steel, let me sound off But steel sharp and steel, I'ma keep it real I'm on some steel sharp and steel shit Color mayonnaise. Colors. 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 Oh, that's a good Colors. segue. That's a good segue. So, uh, you want to do the intro first? Yeah, I was confused on what the fuck I y'all was doing. Do intro. Don't, don't rush me. Usually we talk shit in the beginning. I'm just saying. Like, yeah, don't rush me. Nigga, do ain't nobody rushing you, nigga. These niggas are. Just do the intro, I'll please. Snatch that mask and throw that won't. bitch. Put a bitch in a furnace. Yo, 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 yo. Should we do a sound check? Mic check one two one two. Should no, that's not the right mic check. And someone tell me what the fuck you gonna do? Microphone check one. When two, he pull up on the two. scene with his two guns, Drew. Some. With you and your man's to play a little two on two. God. Some some that some two on two. That shit was fire. I didn't write it. Not. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, if so welcome to. I'm gonna be trolling all. Podcasts. Ladies and gentlemen, that's welcome I. to Steel one. Sharp and Steel. <laughs> yeah, you right. Stop. Relax. Hey, don't don't ever don't ever do that. Then come on. Don't ever do that. You already know what the fuck it is. Steel Sharp and Steel episode. I'm gonna keep it real. Okay, no. Okay. Yeah, see, yeah, that, yeah, that's what yeah. that's what he's you know supposed what to do, but he ain't doing what it is. I was just waiting for him. Episode whatever the fuck. Uh, what you mean episode whatever the fuck? I forgot what episode it was. It's like 13 or 14. You already know it's your boy Ice, a.k.a. Mr. A.k.a. To my right, we have Q. <laughs> what? <laughs> he did say he was going by Q last week. I'm never week. calling you that, dog. Cause, cause no, no. For the pod. No, no. Fred, Fredro Stars, nigga. No. <laughs> to my left, we have... D? I want no. V? <laughs> you know D? <laughs> I'm not saying that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know Deanda? <laughs> nope. <laughs> I don't know shit. <laughs> you know Deanda, right? No, no, don't do it. <laughs> oh, you remember Deanda? Oh, shit. Oh, I ain't shit. saying shit. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> I want to do like nicknames and some shit, but I still ain't got no good nicknames. Cause you got you ice. I shit. mean, no, that's no, that's me, nigga. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. Vic. That's the that's the wackest nickname. What was it? Cause it's so Vic? no, it's cause it's common. Common? Like, no, like it's, it's a common nickname. I'm gonna beat this nigga the fuck No, up, I'm bro. saying because it's a common nickname, nigga. I don't know anybody else named Ice or George Gervin. He's the Ice Man. I don't know these I'm people. just Ice. Or Ice Water. Ice T, Ice Cube. Yeah, they're so, all Ice Water. It's hard something. frozen water. Cup. Yo, Yo, ice man, Water. Something. I'm Cup. 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 Kill him, fuck Ice T. Cup. All right, whoa. Cup. No. Him and that ponytail. Stop it. All right, Salute Corey to Corey Hulk. All right, Corey <laughs> Hey, ponytail. Nigga, is you gonna say what your <laughs> name is or not? They already know. Niggas say These shit. niggas don't know they you. Already, they already know. It, they say already your know. Fucking name. They already know who I am. First of all, you got to take that mask AKA off. AKA Vic Starkiller. AKA Yeah, you was Let better spray. AKA right, You was better <laughs> without the nicknames, G. Stop it. Nah, but you got to take that. No, I can't. Why? It's a precaution. Just come on. Ain't it's, nobody sick, It's fucking bro. with the the sound. I not caught it from the bitches yet. Shit. Damn, you just put play on this shit? <sighs> nah, That's you good. Crazy. You good? Catch. They ain't hear you. No, I didn't catch it. <laughs> <laughs> you see how that nigga looking? Look at his face. <laughs> he, he like, wait. My eye. My eye. <laughs> he like, I don't know My if I can eye. trust these niggas or not. You can trust us, G. All right. You can't trust us. All I know is Day Celine is one of the best artists from the world. That's not her name. Day oh, Lord, Sulan, Sulan, like Mulan. Day Sulan? Usman? Yes. That's crazy because I put you on. Whatever. Man, I, I put myself on. Lies and deception. You, you sent me, you set, you sent me her good. song and I was like, y'all yeah, listen to it. Never listened to it. Seen the shit on VH1 or whatever. I was like, hey, this shit fire. She's fire. Okay, Let me so see if he know. She fire. Okay, so. I told this nigga months ago and he just now catching up. What? It's not just now. It was just like now. A some... couple months. It was like a All couple right. months ago. So we're going to start off with this Eminem Snoop shit. Let's start with it. So what we're going to start with is this Eminem Snoop shit. I just said right. that. So oh, I'm going to go first. My ear pods are in. Uh, if, uh, if that's okay with you, I'm going to go first. God damn, my head hurts. 
This nigga been drinking. Is that, is that something we really need to hear on the podcast? <laughs> that my head hurts? This nigga yeah. been drinking. I got a headache? Who gives a fuck? This nigga's an alcoholic. I don't <laughs> drink. And anybody who know me that listen to this know that. Yeah. Okay, so. You know that. This, uh, this Eminem uh, Snoop shit. Something that kicked off last week. We haven't talked about it. But uh, apparently there's an issue in the... Uh, Interscope camp. In the Interscope aftermath, shady, uh, doggy style, priority G unit family. Because <laughs> all the joke, but it's not appropriate. About doggy about style. About doggy style. No, 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 no. I ain't gonna. Go about ahead. Jimmy Iovine. No, no. Go ahead. Fuck him. But go ahead. Go ahead. Why so I can piggyback. <laughs> well, that's different. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, so talk about it um, <laughs> apparently Snoop Dogg and Eminem have issues with each other. Uh, it's anybody's guess as to what the issue is, but the rumor seems to be that years ago, around the time of the uh, Up and Smoke tour, uh, Snoop Dogg asked Eminem for a feature. Eminem never did the feature. I don't know if it's because Eminem outright told him no, or he completely like blew him off, or he said, yeah, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, and he never did it. But apparently... Uh, that's been going on and um, under the behind the scenes for the last few years. And um, recently, Eminem, well, it really starts with Snoop. So let me start with Snoop. So Snoop Dogg was having a conversation on Instagram Live with, what was it, Charlemagne? No, it was on The Breakfast Club. Oh, it wasn't. Okay. Well, yeah. So, so Charlemagne? Charlemagne? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Charlemagne, my God. Yeah, that shit is still <laughs> funny. Charlemagne. <laughs> Charlemagne. Yeah. <laughs> So, <laughs> you die with chocolates in the champagne. Okay, all right. So, um, apparently, uh, well, in this conversation, Snoop Dogg was asked, does he have Eminem in his top five or top ten? Snoop Dogg straight up said no. Oh, and it wasn't on IG Live. It was, like, before COVID. So, they was they was presently there. The video was... Snoop I was in the, the studio. No, no, that was the video I cool. saw. Snoop was in the studio and they were talking to Ronji Live. The original one, he was there and he said it. You can look it up. That's probably the second time. Well, I mean, okay, well, well, well the second probably. time. The one I'm talking about was. Yeah. it could have been the second time. Yeah. So anyway. I know which one you talking about though. Yeah, that's the one Eminem referenced in why mm-hmm. he did Snoop originally. The Breakfast Club and when he was in the. I think I've seen the, that. Uh, the radio station with him. Okay, the Snoop a hating ass nigga. Nah. Well, okay. Ahead, but anyway, uh, Snoop was asked if he has Eminem in his top five or ten. Snoop said no, because there's many uh, legends from the 80s and 90s that he's going to think about before he puts Eminem up there. And he said he can, quote, live without Eminem's music. That's what the problem started. Now, Eminem, of course, being being an artist that has pride in his art being a rapper that has pride in his lyrics and his music obviously took an issue with that as anybody would and he threw some shots at Eminem on his last album it's Snoop. Zeus. I'm fucking it's stupid Snoop. He threw, Eminem threw some shots at Snoop on his last album on a song called Zeus yep. and um, Eminem responded by fuck Snoop responded to Eminem by going on Instagram live before his Sunday workout, morning workout, whatever, and playing a snippet of a disc that he appears to have for Eminem. And there's some, I got to say, there's some subtle jabs in there. Like it's, nobody want this shit. No, I know. I'm, I'm getting to it. Uh, he, if you go, did you listen to the lyrics? I did. And I thought it was because like he, he was, he was flipping a bunch of his album. I titles. heard some of it, but I, it still might oh, be a reach. Wait. Does this mean we gonna get Snoop Dogg rapping, rapping again? Yeah, dude, dude, then I can't. It good. No, no, it's nah, I didn't low and I did because I don't. I don't be, care about I'll be this. We don't fuck with West Coast rappers. We know. Shut the fuck up. Nobody, nobody defends West Coast rap more than what this nigga me? here. He not I from the West. West. He a no, down I South cat like the rest of us. A West nigga. You grew up from this outcast. Nigga, you from Durham? I'm from Chicago. You grew up on this outcast shit. You grew up on. You grew up on tip. You grew up on. No, no, no. No, no. That's not crazy. You Rory for real. You know I'm at T. Hey yo. He said you grew up on tip. 
<laughs> Y'all some Indian women, bro. Indian Everybody dude. come from the D. You no, no, know we no, most not. certainly do not, hey, sir. But no, but anyway. I grew up on West Coast. Like, that's what I was introduced to. Nigga, first. we grew up on all this shit. No, no, no. But the first thing I ever listened to was Snoop Dogg. Okay, the first Tupac. thing you. You said me, nigga. No, no, no. I'm trying to think what, what, was, the first, what was the first rap. You said I grew okay, up so on Atlanta Will South. Smith. Smith. Philly for me. So. Will Smith. You said I grew up on nigga. Atlanta South music first. And we that's all not true. did, bro. No, no, no. But the first thing I grew up on was West Coast music. Okay. Get it right. Then South and all that other shit came. Okay. Technically, after okay. I grew up on Earth, Wind and Fire, and the OJ's. Oh, and nigga, we all grew up on Earth, Wind and Fire, and the OJ's music, and shit. We grew up on gospel. Music. I definitely don't I grew up on Kirk. I definitely don't listen to gospel. No R and B. We going all the way. The Y'all listen to gospel shit. in real life. Like, yeah. like, well, stop doing that. It, 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 it depends. Well, fuck well, Shirley. Well, listen, well, listen, no, listen, no, listen. No, you are not disrespecting Pastor Shirley. Fuck Shirley Caesar. I'll spit in that bitch face if I ever see her. That's a fact. Ladies and gentlemen, this 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 man was. Speaking on behalf of himself, God not this podcast. Right. Bro, my mom knows her, man. Will you chill? My mom know her, too. Okay, my whole family knows up. Shirley this Caesar. Like Pastor Shirley Caesar, what is wrong with you? Fuck Shirley Caesar. Man, my mama sung at her sister's funeral. stop it, bro? She got peas, greens, yams, tomatoes. To... <laughs> Fuck Shirley you Caesar. You name it, she's got it. But, but to anyway, get back on to get back to this uh, Eminem Dr. Dre issue. Uh, you mean Eminem Snoop? Uh, fuck. Well, well, it's about to become a Dr. Dre issue. We're going to segue we'll to that it. topic next. Yeah, we'll, we'll get, get to it. Next. But um, anyway, from what I heard, from what I heard uh, with Snoop Dogg's song where he's throwing subtle jabs at Eminem, it's not very subtle if you know the title of like his songs and albums and stuff. I'm going to just say it might be a reach. That might be clickbait, but... No, it's not. Not if you listen I to it. I heard some of the flips, and it's like... Eh. I heard. I heard that he did that months earlier, and people are like... Because this issue's been going on for a while now. Bait. But nah, like the diss, like they making it seem like he just did it when he might have did this months ago. And like, they're just putting words in the little, like, because I saw the YouTube clip. They're putting it saying, Eminem diss when in reality, he did this months ago. You might be right, yeah. but the fact that he put the video up, and in that video he said, that nigga better leave me alone... No, that it's was making a, that me was think. a comment on IG. That wasn't in the video. He said in the video that nigga better leave me alone. Maybe go I back saw and watch a different the, video. Go go back the video I'm talking about yeah. where he where he's playing this because this was like mm. last week. So mm. the video I saw where he's playing the song is on his Instagram too. Yeah. He said in the video and I quote, "Y'all better tell that nigga to leave me alone." Well, he said he said it again too on the IG comment because they somebody mentioned Zeus. Yeah, and then he said in the IG comment. So I better leave me alone before I respond to that weak ass shit. But that was in the IG comment, so he must have. But he said it in the video video too. too. He was reiterating it. Okay, in the video. Okay. Yeah. So, So, anyway, um, so I so me being you know who I am, uh, I got on social media. I got on Twitter. We about to get to the niggas on Twitter (laughs) again. But anyway, I'm scrolling through and people are having like this Snoop Dogg versus Eminem debate and niggas like I'll take Doggy Style over any Eminem album. I said Eminem has three classics. Snoop, he has three classics. Snoop has one certified classic album. Let's be for real. Getting this conversation, go ahead. Okay, let's be for real. He's got he's got one certified classic. Which album. one do black people fuck with more? But go ahead. But it's, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it does. It, no, it doesn't it matter. Does. No, we'll get what, into no. It. See, and this is my problem. I love Eminem because I feel look, like and, people and this think is, we hate Eminem because this, of our last few podcasts. This is this is why I wanted to talk about this because mm-hmm. King Crooked. Oh, Crook, I saw that form, too. Formerly known as Crooked Eye. Said some real shit. Too. Said some real shit too. This yeah. is going to be a very divisive battle for the culture because, let's be honest, most black people probably don't fuck with Eminem. Granted, I mean, you know, he's he's a white rapper. I want to. But the but that. the difference between Eminem and these other white rappers is that Eminem has actually contributed to the culture. Eminem is actually a great rapper. Of any white rapper, he's in the top five. He's in my top five if we're talking about lyrics. He's number one, bro. Huh? He's number one. No, he's not. White rapper? White rappers, yeah. I'm talking about yeah. I'm talking about rappers in general. You I said white but, rapper. No, no, I'm saying of all the white rappers, he's the only one that you can put up there with like Mac Miller too. Yes, you can. Mac I personally Miller. don't have Mac Miller up there, but I understand why you say that. No, you talk wait, wait, what are you referring to? I'm talking about like when you talk about the greatest rappers of all time. No, you said white first though. If you, I'm saying let's um, just let him finish. Let's just finish. Go ahead. But he's, I'm he's saying, going back and forth between. They, are you talking about rappers in general or white rappers? Because you said both. 
and it's confusing. Let, all right, all right. Let me let me re, redo what I was saying. What I'm saying is, of all the white rappers, Eminem is the only one that, when you ask me what I think of Eminem, I put him up there with the greats. Not just white rappers, but rappers in general. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like I put him up there with, you know, the Tupacs and the Biggies and mm. Nas and Jay. You, you I ain't say nothing, you know, yo. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. These go facial ahead. Facial expressions, go ahead. Nigga. Talk, Can't nigga. That, that Talk. nigga. But go ahead. Uh, yeah, well, when y'all say Talk, stuff and nigga. I make expressions, y'all do that to me. So no, we don't. Don't get mad with a pull of you on you. Anyway. Cause we don't give a fuck. Yes, you do. Shut up. <laughs> no, we I, don't. It, it, yes, you do, nigga. Shut up. <laughs> you just got anyway. Go ahead. I personally feel you like, look like Eminem you're with a jacket right now. Recovery, Eminem. But go ahead. <laughs> I'm not afraid. <laughs> I <never> stand. <laughs> Everybody, but yeah, like crooked I eye. <laughs> what? See, that's, I love that song. No, no, no. See, that's what I'm talking about. I hate why, those why two do, middle why albums. Why do people hate Eminem yeah. on his positive shit? When this nigga was no talking nigga about, do drugs. Can, can, can I finish? See? When this nigga was <laughs> talking about die. killing his mom, yeah. when he was talking about shooting his baby mama, leaving that bitch at the bottom of the ocean. Because I can relate to that. No, you ain't got no baby mamas that you know about. Yeah. You ain't got no baby mama. That you know show. about. We, we would know. You about to have one soon. You keep fucking around. But anyway. I'm going 90 on the freeway. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So when Eminem was doing all that shit. No. When Eminem was on that negative shit. People loved it. I can relate. Okay. So why is it now when he comes out about being sober and not being on fucking pills. Not being at the edge of his life anymore. Niggas hate it. I but can't if, relate. But if this were any... Any other artist, I feel like people would kind of respond to it differently. No, a lot of people. That's not true. A Lil lot of Wayne. people. Look at Chance. He's still, Lil Wayne is the perfect. He's not example, sober. Bro. Look at Chance. Yeah, he's more sober than he was. Niggas want Chance to start doing drugs Niggas again. Want acid rap. Niggas so, like no, Wayne okay, way so, more when he was so y'all, so y'all agree with me then? Because I've been saying yeah. that for years. Niggas like, like Wayne. Niggas, yeah, niggas wanted what? Wayne when he like, was ODing niggas, on lean. Niggas want Jay-Z to, to go back to like Reasonable Doubt days, but he was he's never not that drugs. anymore. I'm not getting sell drugs. No, I'm getting, yeah, yeah, negative shit. Yeah. Because people like more negative than positive. Yeah, I don't understand. Yeah, look, I, I at, look like, at what Denzel won the Oscar for. Poo butt ass nigga. This shit is garbage. You just wanted to say that. Yeah. I fucking hate that movie. Man. <laughs> it's a good ass movie. Yeah. But but no, like I I just feel it's like it's, it's really messed up how it I feel like Eminem is getting disrespected a lot. And now he's being put up against Snoop. And let's be for real. I, I don't know how y'all feel. I'll be for real. Mm-hmm. In a rap battle, Eminem will, watch Eminem will collect that nigga. Based bones. on what we've seen, and I'm a I love them both, but I grew up on West Coast music, so most people will probably... And I love Snoop, and Snoop, literally Tupac and Snoop put me on the hip-hop. They're the first two rap songs and rap videos that I ever saw. Snoop Dogg, what's my motherfucking name? Gin and Juice, and Tupac, I get around to the first three hip-hop songs and hip-hop videos i ever seen in my life. With that being said, in a battle, Eminem, in my opinion, and yours too probably, M would watch that nigga. Yeah. Until I see otherwise, I think Eminem would watch him. But one thing why but, I but, say, but people will side with Snoop Dogg because I don't, finish, I don't know if that's finish. true. I don't know if that's but true. I, I was saying because like what Crooked I was saying about how it's gonna divide people with the race shit. Mm-hmm. It will. I believe so because I I want you to say what you said before. You haven't got into it yet, but you said it last podcast about um, Eminem raps about the same shit that everybody else does. Why is it different for him? Yeah, I agree a little bit but disagree too why do you disagree with that he raps about pills and all this other shit too but I still believe like we fuck with Eminem cause we're like I don't want to sound like I'm dissing motherfuckers, but like this let me, nigga, oh, oh, let me, this let me nigga just said, said rap guy. He just be saying let me, shit. Let me he said that. said that, or you said that? I'm sorry. Yeah, oh, look at I'm you, sorry. nigga. Oh, I said I'm sorry. Nigga. We both did, but let me. No, I said bust him around. Let me finish. <laughs> you no, know how my mind works. I can't remember shit. <laughs> Fuck. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> my ah. <laughs> my but, brain. Uh, oh, we fuck with Eminem because we're like. Eclectic music listeners, we listen to a variety of shit. Real rap fans, just say that. <sighs> no, you're not. It's not <laughs> just rap. Not right. just rap. Okay. Right. But I personally feel like black people that grew up in the hood or super urban areas don't fuck with the content that Eminem has to offer. I just believe that. I believe when he talks about killing his mom, raping his mom, killing his uh, wife or girlfriend, Kim, his baby mom, saying a bunch yeah. of wild shit. Uh, <laughs> Sticking the Oscar up, Ja Rule's Wazoo. When he says wild shit like that, <laughs> all I the believe, things he could have said, G, you pulled that one up. I believe that. No, he uh, put it in. 
He didn't pull Black out. people as a whole just don't fuck with that. Like they respect him for who he is and what he's done, but they don't fuck with that content. I even I I think there's a theory with uh mm. other rapper like rap people at that legendary status that don't fuck with him. I'll say I think Nas but respects is. Eminem, but I think that's the reason why they never did a collaboration like that. They were supposed to do daughters, and I think that further. I think that further kind of they had makes an issue too my, at one point. I didn't know. I think that further kind of made you know uh, yeah. Aaliyah. I'm kidding. Yeah, topic. Yeah. You know uh, the R&B singer Aaliyah. She made that nigga apologize for dissing her. Did made, you know that made like, Nas publicly. or Eminem. No, no, Eminem. Like at an award show, like he okay. said some shit about like, Bro, I like think, he's wanting to fuck her, and she walked yeah. up to him and was like, "Yo, apologize I don't appreciate to me. that." Yeah. yeah. Well, well. Also, I think that damn, I got off my point. Yeah. yeah. I also think that the reason why she did that is because he doesn't know like that shit she went through with, you know who? Yeah. Like so, an older yeah. man lusting after her like that is not. Yeah, it's nothing to play with. Yeah. About. So she didn't like that. Oh no, she was fucking Dame and Jay and DMX at the time. That's different. Age. She was of age. She's so when Eminem woman. said that, was she not of but, age? But she, but, okay, right, you know what? You, go ahead. Finish. You, point. You've never heard Jay Z say, "I want to eat Aaliyah's box out on a record." You've never heard him say that. <laughs> but he was doing it. Relax. <laughs> Look. Relax. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, in this. Go ahead. No, we not. But uh. <laughs> All due respect to Aaliyah. Yeah, I, I love, Aaliyah. I love, love Aaliyah. Aaliyah. Yeah, the R&B singer is oh, fucking amazing. That's the Aaliyah we talking about. I don't know who you talking about, sir. Oh, but uh, God. anywho, I gotta edit this my damn self. Yep. That's right, so come on, but, come on, uh, come on. The fact that Nas gave Eminem or wanted to give Eminem the song "Daughters" showed me mm-hmm. that the content in "Daughters" is something that he respects and can relate to, and maybe some of the other shit that Eminem be talking about, he don't fuck with it like that. Yeah. and I just think that. Nas and maybe some other black people that grew up in the hood or just in urban areas, they just can't relate to that shit. And because of that, I, I, it, I think that like Snoop Dogg's doggy style and the shit he be talking about means it resonates more with black people than what Eminem talks about. I got you. So I just think that divide would be, and the fact, I hate to say this, but it's true. Eminem don't fuck with him, but it's true. Eminem has a lot of white racist fans. He does. And I think that would cause a divide, too. Mm-hmm. And that's not Eminem's fault. He can't help who likes he, he's, music. He's disowned them, though. Yeah, yeah, he did. On the, like, um, on the BT yeah. cipher. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but even though niggas hated that but shit. But they ain't see it because they don't watch BT. <laughs> Some people do. But, 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 but he's also folk. said that. Well, oh, talk about, yeah. talk He's also said that in interviews, too. But niggas don't read, so. White America. That's white, white America that, that's, that whole bro, album, bro. bro. That's my favorite Eminem album. you see how we like that shit? That whole ben like Zeno Eminem did a whole interview where he was saying like black people don't fuck with that shit. Eminem okay. is a wh- I've fuck never with, heard of Benzino song. Benzino. <laughs> what black person fucks with Benzino outside of that one song from NBA Street Volume Two? I, know I don't even know what they're fine and shit. Uh, Benzino uh, got a song on Street. Yeah, you know, you know the beat that goes. Wow, 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 wow. Yo, say uh, his daughter wow. fine and shit though. I forgot the name of it. Whatever. What oh, oh, say? Oh, rock the party. His voice was no, no, no. That's Royce Rock the Party. Savage. We gonna mm, find Rock the party. Mm, no. ro- I say anyway. What somebody? Freak somebody. I thought you said a whole different word that started with a R. To my Eminem. <laughs> yeah, chill. It's another thing he talks about that we can't relate with. Oh yeah, well, well yeah, obviously. A lot of yeah, niggas yeah. out there that can though. Uh, yeah, exactly. Relax. So let's not relax. act brand new out here. Relax. But yeah, they don't, put, me. they don't put. They don't put. Oh, but to to uh. But but yeah, to, on this. But like to oh, you want to go ahead? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Say, ahead. Like I. Now that you've put it that way, yeah. I understand that like people didn't really grow up on that content, and Snoop's shit means more to them because that's what they grew up with. Yeah. But I just don't want that to be the reason why people get out here and start disrespecting Eminem as if he's not still one of those guys. I mean, as as much as like you tell my Nas, Eminem murdered you on your own shit, like. Mm-hmm. That was a moment for people. Tipping like, let's, yeah, like, now. like, let's not. Now, granted, he was only doing that really to spite Jay Z. Because if you listen to the song, 
Man, Eminem. Uh, I, I don't think it was a, a total that's another, wash, that's but another that, that's another. Content. That's another. That's another know. example of content. Because no, because if you we're not gonna get into that right now, let's well, no, 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 let me no, say no, this no. One it was thing. more about his flow. More people love his flow, but Jay had wrong. Jay had more profound stuff he was saying. They're making it seem like Jay was just bullshitting on the record, and Eminem came on there and destroyed him. That's I not think Eminem killed him, but I if do you, too. but more, I feel like because I've been seeing more of like their peers come out and say they like Jay's verse better, like Nori. I believe. Listen to it. I believe that that. It further kind of confirms what I'm talking about, about about content. More black people can relate to what Jay-Z was speaking on his verse than what Eminem was talking about. And I think those people will probably say Jay-Z's verse is better because they can relate to it more than M's. Because Jay, Jay was giving you more of the urban black American yeah. experience. Eminem was, re- he was really talking about how people take his lyrics and think he's like, he's being like, you know, since I'm in the position to yeah, talk to these definitely. kids and they listen, I ain't no politician, yeah. but I kick it with them a minute because see, they call me a menace and if the shoe fits away. Yeah, I know the whole oh, fucking verse. See, 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 because yeah. yeah. oh, I respect lyrics. Because it's fire. Yeah. We all and, it, it was, and it's better than Jay's. It is to me. I mean, okay, but Jay even said it don't, himself. Don't he make said it that the only time he felt like he got got on the record by Biggie and Eminem. <laughs> well, <laughs> he needs to change that. that. Yeah, because uh, yeah, Kanye's got him a few he times. Beans got him a few times. Got him a few times. times. Uh, not true. He could have Scarface people. got him once or twice. He could have some people Beans. on that list, but he ain't gonna do it because he Jay. Of course not. But um, Wayne but, but for that he had the card. Ain't that what you said? Let's get it, huh? Did you say Wayne got him on Mr. Carter? I never said no, that, No, fuck he did it. I'll fight any nigga Wayne now. don't even believe that. Wait, God uh, don't believe that shit. Yeah. Uh, salute Hove? Lil' Kim. Yeah, Hove? He don't believe that. Don't, no, don't, no, don't do rap that. Rap God? Don't do that. Yeah. No, don't rap God that. is Eminem. Hove is Jay. Yeah. <laughs> Hove? Yeah, Hove? No, no, no. But, but, but that, to uh, get segue into, into, uh, into Dr. Dre. Yeah. That's the first. Uh, whoa, I think him whoa, whoa, being whoa, sick whoa, is going to be able but to before, end all Before we get to that. Yeah, what? Um, next? All prayers and positive energy to Dr. Dre. Yeah. Because that news was that dropped last week about his brain aneurysm. Stop me for a minute because I'm, I'm like, hold on now. We can't lose Dr. Sad. Dre. Not now. And I'm going to say this. I think his wife has something to do with it. A brain aneurysm, nigga? I don't think it's like, I think the stress of the divorce. Oh, well, the stress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And foul. I mean, even no, I don't know just, if you saw his, <laughs> his family member even came out and said that she feels like it's foul. Because right after he got sick, somebody tried to break into his house. You hear about that? Oh yeah. Yeah, come on now. That, hey, I don't yeah. believe in coincidence. Yeah, she did that also, shit. also uh, I don't and, believe in coincidence. Uh, also, by the way, fuck TMZ because they also put out that Dre has has two hundred and some million dollars in cash in his house. That ain't nobody's business. It, exactly. So yeah. why why the fuck would they put it out? And then that happens. Yeah, you yeah. might you might be right. So yeah. Somebody gotta die. But yes. I think the fact that Dre's sick, mm-hmm. that probably already squashed the Snoop and Eminem beef already. I hope it did. I would think so, because I feel like there's only two people who squashed this probably Dre and 50 Cent. But it's like, funny that. Take it's, a phone call. It is funny cent. that 50 Cent not Exhibit. gonna squash this shit. Could squash. <laughs> Exhibit. <laughs> Bro, no, 50 Cent is gonna instigate this shit, if anything. It'll be Exhibit. No. Exhibit, I think, would rock more with Snoop. Nah, him and M real cool. Eight hey, mile, yeah. yeah. He was on a whole bunch of shit. I know, but with Snoop that being said, I do think I, I do where we at right I now. do think he would kind of side with Snoop more. I think he, would, I think he, he wouldn't side with anybody. He, he, might he might would try right. to squash it. Is Maybe, what yeah. I'm saying. The no, fifty cent ain't gonna squash that shit. I think fifty and nah, I think fifty. Fifty will ride with Snoop. If he had to choose, if he had to choose, if he had to choose, he's riding with him because M just put him on. Not Dre. But I think he'd squash it because he's got, he fucks with both sides. Because him and Dre had an issue too at one point. He fucks with both sides, so I think he would. But if he had to choose, he's riding with him. Yeah. But Dre's like looking at them like, come on. Like, let's say. All my children, relax. (laughs) Basically. Well, you can't say all my children because I mean. Low key, they probably at the hospital. Ice Cube, not his children. Like, they probably (laughs) at the hospital. No, but I'm glad you brought that up though because uh, for those that (laughs) don't listen to Eminem because whatever reason. Uh, when Drake looked like he was about to drop Detox at one point in time, he put out the first single, which was I Need a Doctor. Oh, I don't know. never getting that shit. What? Well, I, I Need a Doctor? Or Detox. Bro, as soon as that nigga became a billionaire, he said, fuck you. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> uh, look, I'm going to be honest. So if, there was, did the same if there was ever a time for him to put out an album, this would be a good time, you know, if he gets better because he got a lot of shit to talk about, but, you know. I don't want I blame I don't want the fans. artist to suffer for the music. I blame hip hop fans why we didn't get detox, but go ahead. Well also the also the hip hop changed too. Gangster rap today is not They want rap Dre to keep making motherfucking chronic. That nigga's fifty yeah. years <laughs> old. He can't do that. Bro. He can't do that shit. <laughs> niggas tried to shit on Compton and that shit was a dope album. Compton was Whatever. great. Was I know one album. of the producers for that, so I ain't never go shit on I that. I know I know one of the artists that probably wrote a bunch of shit Dre was saying on there. It's a dope album. I get paid from I mean what? 
Anyway, <laughs> but but yeah, um, there was a, a part in I Need a Doctor where in Dr. Dre's verse, he said, I have friends, some of them I put on, but where the fuck are they now? Fuck all you fair weather friends, all I see is M. No, no, all I see is M. Fuck all you fair weather friends, all I need is him. So I'm wondering, like, well, you know, M wrote what? that, so he was talking about Snoop. <laughs> And the but Dre, yeah, but Dre, it. Dre's not gonna Dre say it unless he signs off on it. But clearly, they so I'm good wondering. Now, years later, they all good. But when that first came out, as a, for one of the first people I thought about, about I thought about uh, Ice Cube, Snoop, and all the other people that he. The, the reason why I didn't think it was Ice Cube is because I was like, nah, they're they not still beefing all, they, all these years later. At one point, no, I'm, I'm talking about years later though. They still did you listen that? to Drink the Kool Aid? They already did. Hello, I thought I thought he said that wasn't about Dre. Nigga lied. Because when Dre <laughs> okay. kind of asked him about it, because uh, I remember Ice Cube was on an interview and he talked about it, and they asked him, did Dre hear it? And he was like, yeah, he heard it. And Dre asked him, like, did you dissing me, man? And Ice Cube was like, this the nigga that put me on? I don't ever do that. And the way his tone, hmm. it was kind of on some, like, I just But that's how Ice Cube but, talked. But wait, but, it yeah, is, true. but it's like, <laughs> wait, 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 I feel like, wait, but let's you know how real. brothers fight? What, what and they might do some shit that they know or get a brother's attention? I yeah. feel like that's what that was. And you know that better than and anybody on that yeah. too. Huh? And he dissed Eminem on that, too. Uh, you know how that, did. You know how that tone shit worked better than anybody, nigga? I am Ice Cube. He is I. I am him. No, I'm joking. This yeah, the nigga but, that but, put uh, me on. I, I do kind of wonder <laughs> if yeah, but... I I do kind of wonder if that little that little piece of the verse was about Snoop because Snoop could also be having some frustrations about the fact that well, let's be honest. I mean, of, of all the artists that Dre put on, he's been the most active in Eminem's career. I'm sure it might have been a point in time where Snoop had an album and he wanted Dre to do most of it, but Dre was too busy mm-hmm. doing whatever Eminem was working on. I don't believe that. I, think, I don't think so. I think Snoop? Snoop and Dre and Eminem, like those shit, the big three, Snoop, Dre, and 50 Cent, I think Dre will stop whatever he's doing and not for them 50. niggas out. No, not after, the, after the beat situation, no, but before, yeah. But the thing Cause, is, cause Snoop, 50 hasn't produced the majority of a 50 Cent. Dr. Dre right. hasn't produced the majority of a 50 Cent project since Get Rich or Die That Trying. was after the, the Beats situation. The Get Rich or Die Trying? After the Beats situation. That wasn't until like 2010. No, but they That's was like still, before I self destruct. That was still cool, was though. Trash. That was still cool. Jimmy Iovine kind of put them in like, mm-hmm. they kind of, I don't want to say put them against each other, yeah. but because he came out with SMS Audio or whatever mm-hmm. it was called, it was in con- direct competition with with Beats, Beats by Dre. and because of that, they had a falling out. You oh, remember okay, when yeah, Fifty threatened to yeah. delete Detox? And yeah, that's what I meant. Eminem called him and told him to chill out. Mm-hmm. And after then, like they just got back being cool, like maybe a year or two ago. Yeah, okay. but Snoop was already used to working with different producers. So. But but see, but why is he that, don't though? he don't need Dre all the time? Nah, but he we doesn't. Know but when that but, Snoop and Dre when they get together is legendary. It's, yeah, but when Snoop and Pharrell get together is legendary. legendary. But it ain't yeah, that, but it ain't, it ain't Snoop and Dre it though. That. It ain't Snoop and Dre. <laughs> it ain't gonna be that though. Pharrell is that himself, bro. It ain't gonna be that. Though. <laughs> it ain't gonna be that. Oh, no, I like. Say that. I love beautiful, bro. Rhythm and gangster, bro. Go rhythm and gangster. Drop it like it's hot. Listen, rhythm and gangster. Them classics, yeah. Bro, so is gin and juice. Rhythm and gangster. So is motherfucking rhythm and gangster is dope. Let me ride. It's but not Warren G style. produced some of that too. I know, but that's cool. Yeah, and Warren Gangsta. G usually produce a lot of things on Snoop. Like he'll work with Warren G more than he work with Dre. Rhythm All and Gangster was a great album. Yeah, it's not Doggy Style Snoop. though. All this shit. Wait, what? what you and them niggas with Rhythm Master P. Because oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah, Neptunes not produce not like yeah. it's not it's not even Snoop and Pharrell. It's Snoop and <laughs> Pharrell and Chad. Yeah. yeah, let's make sure we can keep Chad in discussion because he don't like he don't want to be. I'm telling you, I, that man I'm alone. giving that nigga his flowers because 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 l- listen, yeah, Pharrell's a musical genius, but Chad be doing shit too. Yeah, he said leave him the fuck alone. I believe it. I'm giving that nigga his flowers. Fuck that. He deserves it though. Shit, nigga. That, that nigga did the saxophone on, on The City Is Mine. That shit is fire. Even though niggas hate that song. He also uh, produced Jen's Speak Chinese. Okay. I'm joking. That's what oh, yeah, he did. Oh, you fucking <laughs> racist. <laughs> you fucking Can racist. Can I get into the next topic, though? Yeah, go ahead. We're we good with that. Um, no. Snoop needs to leave that shit to, alone. I've been wanting to talk about this for a while. And no, I'm not dissing you. Oh, shit, don't fuck with Can't me, bro. I'm not dissing you, man. Oh, shit, don't fuck with me. When I tell you the two rappers that I thought you know that For I'm not talking a minute. about you. But since you brought it up, I might talk about that, too. I wasn't even thinking about them. I have two other rappers because I've been hearing this comparison, and it just don't make no fucking sense to me. Uh, you, you talking about old veterans versus current rappers? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Go ahead. 
comparison. I mean, he already said it. But I'm gonna say it again. Two early comparisons of novice rappers compared to vets. I've been hearing people compare, and let me let me uh let me get into it before y'all interrupt. I've been hearing people try to compare Lil Baby to Meek Mill, and I think that shit is ridiculous. Why? Like, Lil Baby <laughs> has had a hot moment. He's killed all his features. He got the Drake stimulus package and ran with it. He didn't Everybody die out like a lot of other people. He, but he didn't die out like most people did. He did what the That's Migos true. did, capitalized off of it, mm-hmm. and ran with it, and he's been dropping hits ever since. Now, he's had a hot moment. Meek Mill has had a hot career. Like, you can't compare the two. Meek Mill has had a hot career despite mm-hmm. of the I'm not. I'm not saying I'm going to let you finish. Go ahead and get your rant he's off, and I will rebut. Career. I will rebut. He's had a hot career. Listen, bro. go ahead, G. <laughs> right, go right. ahead. Hurry right, up so I can't wait respond. to hear his shit. <laughs> Hurry but, up. Uh, Lil Baby, like, it's not even close in my opinion. Like, he's had, like, a year or two. You bugging. He's had a year or two of being that nigga. Okay. Meek has had a few years of being that nigga. That's that's very debatable. No, no it's wait, not. wait. Okay, let him go, bro. Uh, let him go. I'm sorry. We're not Ross? saying that. Go, go. I'm a boss. Cook. I could name you multiple Meek Mill hits. And this okay, bro, that's flaming. fine. Go ahead. Go this ahead. Flaming. Go ahead. That's not crazy, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I mean, you know, he went to jail a couple times, so he probably relax. But uh, this nigga's had hits. I mean, can you name me a little baby song that hits like Dream and Nightmares intro? <laughs> that shit with Drake. What shit with Drake? Um, Indeed? Yeah. Gunna? The song with Gunna? That shit don't hit like the Dreams and Nightmare at a fucking concert. Oh, uh, oh like Dreams and Nightmares? I've seen that no, shit no. myself. Uh, that shit don't hit like that in a fucking concert. Drip too hard. It might in Atlanta. Drip too hard, go. It don't hit like goes. Dreams and Nightmares, though. But wait, wait, wait. But wait. Can, can we respond? Right we now, Lil up? Baby got a lot of shit out right now that, that could hit, but we can't go out. Can we respond? So we don't know how we hit. I know that shit wait, 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 don't wait, hit Wait, like can that. we respond you, first or you don't? How do you know that if you're not? Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. Tell me, tell me. I have it too. But have you seen Finito live? Yeah. Nigga, tell me. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Exactly, bro. Tell me, tell me. We don't know if he's done with his argument yet. Are you done? Yet? I'm a gorilla in the fucking cookie. exactly. But have you seen that out? Have you oh, been shit. out when oh, that shit, shit nigga, came you on? Oh, shit. You been in I'm, Chicago wait, when that shit come I know on? A nigga from New Jersey and was in the fucking <laughs> wait. Hold on, come on, come on. Are, you, wait, 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 are you done? Wait, are you done? Can we respond like yet? This as soon as I'ma blow New Jersey up. I was like, ah. Wait, 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 that shit was funny. Are you done yet? But, uh, can we respond? Um, uh, no, not yet. Okay, uh, well, let's do that before we respond. I just don't think they're, I mean, lyrically, the little baby's cool, but lyrically, he's not on Meek Mill's level. Uh, I will say this one thing he do got over Meek Mill. I think he has sold more than him. I'll give him that. Mm. Like, he allegedly, he sold more than Taylor Swift last year. Allegedly. <laughs> last year. <laughs> Taylor Swift. January. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor Swift was like, whoa, whoa, what are you laughing time. at? That bitch sell way more than our favorite rappers outside That's of That's what Drake, I'm saying. Drake, Nicole. I know. I'm, 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 I'm I thought she was laughing you. at her numbers. Say no, what you bro, want about Tay Tay. She she's be selling them records. No, bro. She, her she's and the Adele. biggest artist in the world not named Beyonce right her now. At, or her and Adele be selling millions Yeah, these niggas are struggling to do 50K. Yeah. Except Adele can sing. What did Drake say? Oh yeah, Adele can't sing. I mean, we gonna talk about Tay Tay's vocals. It's a lot of niggas that can't sing. I mean, she her vocals are all right. She she got two or three songs I can listen. We to. ain't here. For I want to get it's into a popularity that, contest. We know who's really talented and who's not. Uh, Shut the fuck up. <laughs> what did what did Drizzy say? These niggas um, doing other. These niggas doing under fifty k. Don't you wake up and feel disgusted? <laughs> shit is trash nigga like you doing 50k and you feel good about yourself while niggas is doing millions his artists are doing 50 you can't even do 50k but we ain't gonna get into it I mean I guess they're Memphis Bleak they gonna be alright as long Stop as Drake <laughs> as long as Memphis Drake Memphis Bleak got, will bar Drake up second place <laughs> Hey, if Jay is writing, yeah. Black, you're <laughs> Yo, I'm talking like Miff can't rap, but I, I didn't can, say he but couldn't. He's fucking with Drake, in my opinion. But hey. there's some you uh, don't, uh, nigga, nigga, stop, uh, uh, nigga, stop, uh, stop. Uh, stop. Uh, you know that was Jay. high. That's Jay. Uh, no, uh, no. Uh, c- coming of that's age, Jay. <laughs> handed down. That's, that's all Jay. Come on that's now, Jay. Yeah, niggas ain't here five oh four, but whatever. Fucking hove. Niggas only bought that because of Dear Summer Freestyle. Yeah, that's Jay. Whatever, yo. Go ahead, finish it. Jigga, my nigga. Jigga, my nigga. Jigga, my nigga. Uh, 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 uh. That nigga would never do get it right. Who that would nigga be? kill everybody. Who? Everybody. Jay? Jay. Except Jay Kanye. Jay smoke. That, that, that will go back. And, huh? By who? By who? Michael Jackson? Nigga, everybody gonna get smoked by Michael hey, Jackson and R. Prince. Kelly and Prince. Prince. 
Huh? Uh, stop putting R. Kelly. Not James Brown. Brown. R. Kelly will smoke everybody. Not James Brown. I'm putting not R- I'm not Michael Jackson. Everybody but them. Okay, okay. Everybody okay. but them, but even Michael Jackson got a song from R. Kelly. So let, let's, somebody, let's relax. Y'all gonna disagree. We all talk. We, 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 we talk about R. Kelly. We all talk. Robert. Robert is a fucking. Let me pedophile. get back. On, let me get back. Let me get back on topic. But R. Kelly is different. Go ahead. Let me get back on topic. Uh, I just think people should stop. Stop comparing veterans to who's the other novice rappers. My bad. Well, let's talk about them first. Then we'll Meek get is to a, the is, is you Meek a veteran? <laughs> yeah, yeah nigga been in the game for years. years. Okay, well, when you say veteran, I'm thinking like. That nigga's a vet. I'm th- like, like the like niggas 50 that we grew is up. A veteran. No, I didn't you don't grow up realize, on Meek Mill. You don't. Yeah, you did. No fuck, I did it. Yeah, I did. grew up on Fifty Cent. You Kanye, was in middle school you, when Meek Mill was out. You don't realize that times yeah, like times have changed, bro. The niggas that were yeah, little you niggas still listening to LL are, Cool J. No, no, no. But no, he don't realize the niggas. He don't realize the niggas that were little niggas. So uh-huh. They're the big dogs now. Kendrick, Cole, Drake, Wale, Meek Mill. Yeah, but they're big dogs now. They're veterans. I know that. They've been in the game ten years plus. I know that. Then why are you but, acting like they're not veterans? No, no, they are. okay, no. I have a different definition of veteran. Like when you no, say it's veteran, the same. I'm it's just that those I'm are like triple the 2000s OG. generation. Nah, but you just you forgetting that the niggas that we grew up with are now they got older, bro. Like that, they're that them niggas true. now. That is true. Like the same way we we view Fifty J, Kanye, Ti, mm-hmm. and all them niggas. Kendrick Cole and Drake and Meek are up there with them niggas now. While they not Meek. Meek yes, ain't up there is. with no Jay Z. Yeah, after that last album championship, you're bugging. Meek not a top tier nigga. Yes, the Meek fuck he is. Meek not even top five out of Philly. Yes, the fuck he is. Meek not even top five out he of Philly. He is a top tier nigga. Despite right, if y'all on, don't on, like him or not, no, he's no, top no. Tier. We, we talking. I'm talking yeah, strictly. Currently. Hold on, I'm talking strictly like album, album, album sales, sales and stuff like that. Oh, album sales. Oh, album sales. Hell, no. he still does better than most. I will okay, say this, but without a Drake, Drake feature, numbers. Yeah, without a Drake Versus, feature, yeah. without a Drake feature, I don't know though. Yeah, let's that Drake it. stimulus package, a motherfucker. And that Rick, he got a Rick Ross song every all the time. But that we talking, Rick we Ross talking Rick tears. Ross Ross ain't doing shit. We talking tears. Remember we did the tier list. Yeah, yeah. And what y'all put Drake, Kendrick, we talking about and Cole rappers. And then first. we said the yeah. B, the yeah, B yeah. levels of the people who could alter. Wale, Meek was in there, but Meek. I put Wale. I didn't. Him. I didn't put. But that's because I didn't put Meek on that second. I feel like Wale lyrically better than him. But if we talking about. Like the, the total package, yeah. Meek got him. Uh, I disagree with that. Meek got the total package over Wale. I disagree. And I over think, Big Sean. I think, and I over I Big Frick. I big disagree with that. No, no, no. We're talking about just Wale. And big I Crick. think Wale got better like hit records than him, in my opinion. But yeah. I, you know, I like the earthy like college like black women. So you are the shea butter. Women. I like women who go That's to Howard. Me. It's beautiful black women. So Wale, that's that nigga's fan base. Now you already know I'm <laughs> fucking with that music mm-hmm. because it's dope and because a lot of beautiful black queens fuck with that music. And I want to be with the beautiful black queens and I like dope shit. So I'm going to fuck with Wale shit. But I still fuck with Meeks too, but I feel like more street, like urban black people fuck with Meek more than Wale. I'm going to preface my statement by saying I've never really been a Meek Mill fan like that. So yeah. I, I do acknowledge Championships is a great album. I know because it's I his, it's his best it album before. in my opinion. It's his best album. <laughs> it is. Facts. Okay. But with that being said, I mean, when you say veteran. He's a vet, bro. I, it, he is. Yeah, but he's not like. Stop I mean, trying but, to discredit him. Just say he's a vet and you don't fuck with his music like that. Just no, leave I'm, it at that. I'm just no, no. It's just it, no. It kind of throws me a bit because when I think of veterans, I'm thinking of niggas I grew up on, not niggas that he grew up on them too. No, 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 so no, let, no, let me no, ask him no, in, whoa, whoa, in no, sports no, no, terms. No, 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 no. Yeah. Like, like when you said Drake, we yes. grew up with like we grew up with Drake. We didn't grow up on Drake. Like we grew up like like Drake was a young nigga. We were young niggas, and we grew up with the music. Meek was. He, he wasn't already an old nigga, like a grown ass man. Yeah. Like when we were kids. Mm-hmm. So when you say veteran, I'm thinking of like Jay, Nas, and Kanye, and all them niggas. But we grew up with Drake too, to the point to where Drake is no longer a little nigga. He's become. A oh, okay. Well, uh, I agree. Same with, with Meek. Okay, I got. Same you. with Meek. I got. Wale you. and a lot of other people. Okay, I got you. When they were little niggas, we was in like what high school or whatever. Yeah. And now we're like in college and grown up, and them niggas is grown as artists. Okay, and now they the big niggas right, too. Okay. So yeah, I agree. He, he's a veteran. Some of they, them have grown. What were you about to say? Some. I was gonna <laughs> break it down to sports terms. Like 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 how? Like, I, I want to hear this. Would you consider John Wall a veteran? Exactly. At, at point, John Wall been in the league ten years. Yeah, nigga. yeah, ten years of veteran. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's but me. but okay, you I, would think of LeBron as older, right? Yeah, yeah. 
But LeBron, LeBron's an OG at this yeah, point. But they're both they're <laughs> both they're both, they're years both Kanye, veterans. Kanye, and Jay. They're double. OGs. Okay, all right, yeah. They're like triple right. time. My Snoop mistake. is a triple, 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 triple OG. Dre is a the Don. <laughs> Dre is Super Saiyan. God, Super Saiyan. Yeah. <laughs> so, but anyway, what was you about that? You wanted to rebuttal the Meek shit? I already said it. What'd you say? The tear thing. Mr. Jump still the top tier to prove I don't, I don't think so. You don't think so? No. Like as a full package or just lyrically? Lyrically. As a full you package, do however you want. Like full package, nah. you Who would you put above him? Big Sean, Wale. All the niggas. Crit. Crit. Mm. Not Crit. If Mac wouldn't have died, Mac. That's, not, really died, Mac that's not his fault. But I agree with the you. The industry don't love Crit MC, like that. But hits, uh, the look, who the young niggas fuck with, who everybody as a whole fuck with, I feel like it's Meek. Over them niggas, bro. I don't know. As, if we just talking lyrics, he's I supposed agree to be like you. that street nigga that everybody he, he listens kinda, to. He, but not I kind of he the DMX of our generation. Y'all, yeah, oh no, y'all gonna disagree? No. Didn't you know, just say stop hell, comparing no. novice niggas to the See, older there niggas? Go, this there, whole, you this there you go. Trying to nah, compare him and not not don't compare nobody, compare nobody to DMX. DMX had two number one albums in the same year. I feel you. Meek Mill can never. Meek Mill never had a number one album. So you letting the fact that you don't like him cloud i like me what are you talking about can i, can I tell about? you how i feel that way and y'all just listen all right all right to me it's the street element that dmx had meek has that a lot more street people view him as a legit street person why are you making that face why you got so many necklaces? i'm not <laughs> i'm not responding go ahead but uh it's the street or that dmx has that i feel like meek has the biker shit that DMX has, that Meek has. He has that The streets of, of New York, the streets of Philly, the Jay Z. Well, I shouldn't use the Jay Z affiliation because they both were cool with Jay, but like. You shouldn't use the DMX affiliation. To Let you, the man talk, bro. Let the but man But to talk. me, I feel like the same way the streets fuck with DMX back in the days, the same way the streets fuck with Meek Mill today because if you really look i mean it ain't that many like street rappers we can go to like trappers or trap rappers or whatever that's the closest that's you got different. to the streets and it's like a no that's what i'm that's what i'm saying is different like the closest gangster quote-unquote rapper that you kind of got that's closest to the older gangster shit in my opinion is kind of meek you got the like levels to it to where like yeah, and push, it's funny because he got a song like, called Levels. Maybe like push a T, he's like the Kendrick? advanced version though. No, he's like the J Rock like the advanced, it. like classy, exquisite gangster Dirk, rapper. Herbo. Dirk. Them niggas are Trill. Not Trill. Drill rap. See, I kinda I kinda But they that's, but that's they like real gangsters. No, no, I feel like you. Like like pop movies? smoke. I know. The same way I said like Twenty One Savage is like a gangster, but he's like the trapper shit. Like he fall in that category. It's still See, gangster. But he don't talk trap he talk more I mean, gangster British. shit than he talk trap shit. I mean, he might rap over trap beats. Um, like everybody we'll break it down Gucci and Jeezy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gucci is a gangster rapper. Mm -hmm. Who sold drugs? Yeah, Jeezy is a trap rapper oh, okay, yeah. mm -hmm. who does gangster shit. Yeah, do you get like it's it's different? I'm speaking about pots and pans. Yeah. I'm in the kitchen. That's Jeezy. Gucci, like yeah. I'll kill a nigga, but I made <laughs> but I made my so, money selling drugs. Put that nigga like it's dirt. a difference. You <laughs> feel me? Bring it back. I do it again. <laughs> so like swing uh, on Pookie Lo tonight. So you. Twenty One Savage is more that. Mm. Gucci I feel you but I still view them all as trappers like I guess because they from Atlanta that's that's and, why you say that and they like that's racist. have a certain <laughs> certain like just the way they carry themselves and the way they rap mm -hmm. like I, I've heard the gangster shit like I feel like I feel like John Wick with a stick in 20 I love that shit that's fire yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> that's fire but, uh, it's like a URL bar and he's advanced. I like Twenty One, bro. I like Twenty One. Twenty One, nice. He's no, he's really grown as an artist. He's British. That last album. Stop. Y'all know he he's is, British. Stop. Right? That last yeah, album. That nigga, fire. Be, that nigga be eating tea and crumpets. When he was on that eighties. We never said it to us. When he rapped on that eighties uh, beat, I was like, oh, what the fuck is this? Twenty One, was fire. And I like him. And what's the nigga that was with Cardi B? Like I watched what's the up? interview with them and it made me respect the them as, as men. Nah, but I forgot which one was with uh, Cardi. Offset. B. Offset. The one with Offset. Yeah. The interview he did with the Breakfast Club and the Twenty One Savage interview that he did with the Breakfast Club made me respect him as men and like as artists because it's like it showed me like these niggas got brains. 
they just not doing this shit just for money and for clout. Like they got a real purpose and like message that they really trying to send out. Like, yeah, they got the trapper fun shit, but to break them who they down who break them down who they are as men, like they really got something to say. And it, I think it, it brings it makes me have faith for like the future of hip hop because even people that may not be into Kendrick Cole drinking on them niggas you can still listen to 21 and get a message you can still listen to Migos and get a message you can have fun turning up and shit but you, you don't you don't think so you don't think so well I mean oh, no, I, their, their most popular stuff is, doesn't really have a message but I see what you're saying but even okay say if I would say listen to that you could listen solo to the songs. say if you listen to their music though you're like damn I don't even listen to the breakfast club but I fuck with Offset so much I'm gonna listen to the interview you can get the message through the interview just because okay. you fuck with the music. Oh, yeah. But, I anyway, that. where I stopped the Meek Mill DMX shit? Yeah, but, yeah, but Meek you, Mill has you, never you, been the Matt top Matt. artist. Drake, Drake was always I'll better. give you that. Yeah, Kendrick yeah, yeah. was but always better. DMX has Cole's been better. that. Lil energy. Baby is that right it's, now. It's I, think, I think more street, I think street niggas feel cold What rapper is Lil Baby? Huh? Wait, what? He ain't fucking with Kendrick Cole and Drake. He's the top in his, like, we're, we're not talking about that. We're talking about and the fans. People were like, with his, talking about the fans, like I put who had, who the, had the biggest year Megan last year? Lil and Baby. All them. I put them in that category. But who had the biggest year last year? Lil Baby. Out of Lil rappers. Baby. Lil Baby? Yeah. But I'm. The, are you asking me or are you telling me? Because it no, sounds like you're asking me. I'm asking. No, no, no. I'm telling you. Lil Baby had the biggest. When has Meek Mill ever had the biggest year Never. of all his peers? Never. Never. Drake has had I most of the years. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. Let me hear what you got to say. I feel you on that, and in that comparison, you're right. There's a lot of comparisons where you could debate what I'm saying and say that it I don't that's compare, what this was. but it don't compare to, <laughs> I, it could, you could do that and say that it doesn't compare to DMX. I'm talking about the street energy. No, I'm talking I about baby. I'm talking saying, about baby. I'm talking say, about little baby it? right now. When what you say street baby? energy. little baby has had has but been the top. ain't fucking with none of the niggas. We ain't talking about that. He ain't fucking with them talking about Meek. You talking about what, Meek? Though? We talking about Lil Baby versus Meek, right? Yes. Yeah. But what about it? Lil Baby has been the top nigga for a whole year, I still, consistently. Even being the top Meek nigga, Mill has never Meek. done that. He's never had he's that. better than Meek. Still? Nicki Minaj has, been, has better career than Meek Mill by this point. No. Stop. Yeah, yes, she, uh, yes, she has, nigga. Come on now. And I'm not a Nicki Minaj fan. Oh, Let's be for Has Meek ever even been nominated for a Grammy? No. I know we don't. I know we don't do the Grammy did, thing. Did he get one for? But the baby Champions? getting nominated for a Grammy. Politics. You know who he's connected with? Do you know who Meek and Mill is? Big, and he had a big. Uh, he had a big year. <laughs> do we know who Meek <laughs> Mill is connected with, sir? <laughs> Will Smith, Jay Z, them niggas that got him out of jail with the Philadelphia 76ers. <laughs> yeah. He connected with a whole, whole bunch of uh, yeah. Robert Kraft. <laughs> I still don't think it's. So, what you, so what are you doing? Connections, B? still comparing a hot moment to a hot career. It's not Meek a moment. That's a year. A career, he hasn't though. had a hot moment. He has. He ha- He's been consistent. I'll give you this. He's been, He's been consistent. consistent his yes. whole year, but career. His, his yes. consistency isn't up here with He's Cole, never, and Kendrick, and Drake. If Lil He's Baby up there can with them niggas, while Lil Baby ain't. If we gonna compare Lil Baby moment to anybody, you should be comparing his to DMX. You should be comparing Hell his no. to Fifty Cent. Hell no. Hell no. I'm what? talking about moments. Hell no. What do you mean by that? No. No. What 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 moment he ain't had has no Meek Mill had? Moment. Uh, that's debatable. Right. Meek Mill that hasn't had a Get Rich or Die Trying moment. No, baby, you know the fuck he has. Meek that Mill album, hasn't yes, had a Get, no, get Rich or Die Trying moment. Yes, it was. Oh, yeah. Did he okay. sell a mill in a week? Niggas don't sell Niggas, records who, who no more. Who sell a mill in a week It don't matter. You're going to compare it, compare it, bro. That's a different time. Same way If we talking about... If we want to do it like... you want to say DMX and Meek Mill is different, you got to do the same for Lil Baby. Okay, if you want to do it streaming wise, then yeah. That nigga ain't sell a million in a week. O'Shea, no, nope. O'Shea, hold on, tell me. Meek Mill has never had Meek Mill has never had a get rich or die trying moment. That nigga ain't beef with murder, ain't. Meek no, Mill has never had a get rich or die trying though. moment. What I do you mean? That. That's a fact. But no, ain't nobody really fucking with. No, Lil no, baby. O'Shea, O'Shea. I know who really behind that nigga. Ain't nobody want that smoke. O'Shea, this, this, this is you see that O'Shea. Smoke. This this is what what we're saying. When you look at Drake, we and Cole. Well, meeting. If you Speak look at Drake, now? Kendrick, and Cole, yeah. all of them have had years we can point to where it was their year. I or it was you. Year. Meek Mill has never had a year where he was number one over everybody else. Never. I get and you he that. never will. I give you that. I was going to say when he first came out with the I'm a boss, but you can't do that because Drake was still here. Kendrick exactly. was still here. Even though Kendrick wasn't Kendrick yet. He was like on the build up and he passed him eventually probably like a year or two after that. But oh, I'm a boss? 
Oh, That's like awesome. 2013. Kendrick had Kendrick had, Kendrick been had that Section nigga. 80 and, and Good Kid, Mad but City. That, I remember, bro. That shit. Niggas didn't fuck with Kendrick till probably like. Who are these niggas? Who are these niggas you talking you about? You talking about us, nigga? We are hip hop. No, I'm talking about, I'm about niggas I knew. Now. Yes, nigga, everybody I know had, had Kendrick. No, 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 no. Everybody I know had Kendrick. Niggas didn't fuck with the recipe when it came out. That was before uh, swimming pools, that's nigga. Not true. That was I'm a boss. That's not true. I'm a boss. Is not before yes, swimming pools. Yes, the fuck it was. No, it's not. Yes, the fuck it was. Bro, swimming pools is good. Kid, Mad City. I swear to yes, the fuck it was. Look it up. It's Googleable, bro. Look it up. Kid Cudi has had like more moments than Meek Mill. And I don't even know if, if like that. street niggas really fuck with Cuddy like that. No I more. just don't think but Lil like, Baby's come comparable to Meek Mill to me. He's just not. And I like Lil Baby. You, well, He's you compare though. these niggas to DMX, and yeah, you should never the do that. Energy. The I just streets, think the street bro, energy. The is streets the will ride for DMX. It like it, it, when, in his prime. Yeah. The streets will ride for DMX. But that's not fair. Nobody ride for no Meek All Mill. Up. You right. What, what are you talking about? Fucking exactly. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? You I'm, a, I'm a boss came out first. Oh, it did? Oh, okay. Fucking exactly. I know okay. my shit. But once Kendrick blew up, that shit was over. Because that was just one song. Kendrick I mean, had mixtapes, albums. Before that, it was kind of... It wasn't over for me. What do you mean? It was over like... Yeah, I do that. When I say it's over, yeah. when Kendrick came along and his shit finally blew up, uh -huh. every, it was... Everybody went to the Kendrick bandwagon. That's true. I'm one of them niggas because you was trying to put me on the Kendrick. True. And and uh, and and I listened to uh, that freestyle, the monster freestyle you sent me, yeah. and I told you that shit was better than everybody's verse on that song. Yeah. Like I mean, come on. So the once once Kendrick, Coast people. once Kendrick blew up and Good Kid, Mad City dropped, the recipe dropped, all them singles and shit. Mm -hmm. Well, nobody told about Meek Mill. Not fucking with the recipe. That shit pissed me off. But they but but now they talk. They try to rewrite they fuck history. With <laughs> Well, yeah, cause cause that was a, that was that was a bigger hit than anything. I remember all Mills my favorite had. niggas come up, bro. I remember when like I was rooting for my niggas when they were like I almost thought that like nigga I was nervous for certain people because it was like bro this shit slap how ain't it hitting in like the mainstream world? Mm -hmm. But then like cause recipe didn't hit and I thought it was gonna hit because it adopted everybody. Right yeah, side. of course. The beat the women weed and weather like mm -hmm. that shit that everybody rap about. But but when you look hit, back at it now, I was so mad. But then Swimming Bulls came out. I was like, yeah. yes. Well, well, and then, uh, well. That's because Justice, Justice came out. Yeah. Well, that's because yeah, that, that's because million. that was more our generation. I think they didn't fuck with the recipe because that's more of like Back, like like 90s. chronic kind of yeah. kind of music and people yeah. don't was, fuck with that. But no that more. felt West Coast. Like, yeah. Drink. Yeah. That's probably don't feel problem. West Coast. Yeah, that felt like anybody could have done that. It yeah. feel like worldwide. Also, he got the Drake stimulus package on Poetic Justice. He he got he got the Drake. Yes, he that was, was after Take Care, right? That was that was 2012. That was what? That was like when did that Take was, Care come out? 11? That was Take Care was 11. Okay, Poetic Justice came out in 2012, 2013. You know why? I don't so like we're talking about nothing shit, was though? the same day. But you know why I don't like saying that shit? Cause saying what? That Kendrick got the Drake stimulus package? Cause you know but that, he did. That ASAP Drake. They all got ASAP the Drake Rocky stimulus package. Weekend. No, no, but these niggas was gonna be great Bro, with we, or we, without Drake though. They uh, was on the path no, no. to be successful. I agree with you. And I feel like Drake but, tries to hold that under the niggas' heads. Like, nigga, you would have never seen that. Of course. Seen yeah, yeah. Man, but the but, success but, but they was all coming up still, together. Yeah, they, they were coming yeah, up together, though. I remember. So that's like... But they still got the Drake stimulus package. But that's why I feel like... like it, to me, they did. Drake wasn't still... Let me, let me, like, but let me holler at him all in wrestling. Who was the most popular one? Let though. me holler at him in wrestling yeah. terms real quick. Yeah. Right? You can't... Com all right, go ahead. Go ahead. So, let's just say Drake is Triple H. Right, if Triple okay. H loses to a nigga now, <laughs> it right? doesn't mean anything. No, that'll make that nigga look good, right? Yeah, it'll make him look good. But yeah. if Triple H lost to Rocky Maivia mm -hmm. in the nineties, which he did, right? But mm -hmm. it's just who are these niggas, right? Like, yeah, Triple H got a bigger name. He with the click and all that, but it's just Rocky Maivia. But but the Rock got the push though before Triple H did. Yeah, because of politics. Yeah, yeah, and Kendrick blew up. But it wasn't because of Triple H. The Rock was gonna blow up anyway. Oh no, I agree with that. Exactly. No, no, no. no. I'm exactly. Not so that's that. not a stimulus package. They was all coming up together. It was a collab between. Okay, okay, you're right. So I should word it differently then. And like, like, cause, cause, like, okay. So, like, when you say, when, when you say, little baby, you gotta talk to this nigga in sports terms. Wait, wait, wait. That's so, why I so think when, when you look Drake at... still got issues to this day because I think Drake thinks that nigga. I hope what that nigga say on uh nothing was the same. All like, these weird ass niggas. I hope. But wait, wait, wait. But hold, hold. I thought you were talking about. Wait, wait, wait. Talk about, talk about. I thought you were talking about. When, when you when you said Drake stimulus Funny package, style niggas or whatever you said. I'm considering like anyone who has shit out, mm -hmm. and they've got a little buzz. But Drake mm -hmm. gives you that little extra. Mm. 
Because and now your shit's everywhere. But I feel like Drake. Like no 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 no. Drake, I don't I'm, think I'm Kendrick did that. Drake still wasn't. Uh, hold on, no, all I'm, powerful I'm as agree- Drake is now though. No, I know that. I know that. That's what I'm saying. I'm wrong. Yeah. But I do think that poetic justice it, it would have been it big helped. regardless. But the fact that Drake was on it and uh-huh. kind of had the best verse, he did. Uh, okay. Oh, I thought niggas were gonna I'll disagree, but all right. I'll say that the, the fact that the fact that that collaboration happened, I think, mm-hmm. it, it, and also uh, time out. Uh, Drake gave Kendrick a mainstream like moment too because on Take Care he gave him his own song. Yeah, yeah the the freestyle, the, uh, the freestyle at the end interlude, of Marvin's whatever room, it was, the yeah. interlude. Yeah, yeah. And and then came um fucking problems with ASAP Rocky and all of niggas. Mm-hmm. So yeah, they were all coming up together. But I think the fact that Drake was the most popular one by that point, it helped. It helped help them come up a little bit because niggas mm-hmm. told him you should you, know, you got to take an R and B artist on the road and that nigga was like no I want ASAP and Kendrick yeah. Rock the Paradise Kendrick Rocky ASAP Rocky and Kendrick. Lamar yeah. on this tour. Paradise tour. Kendrick Rock. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Good job. <laughs> I, I, Good job. Because I was thinking of Good the job. lyrics, nigga. Good job. I, oh, niggas okay. told me no when I drew for Kendrick and Rocky. Good job. We did get off topic, though, but well, we're topic? just going to agree to disagree with the whole yeah, the I, baby. Meek Mill never had a moment. Yeah. Oh, baby. Yeah. Meek Mill. Well, well, Meek Mill had a moment. No. It's not just, for a whole year. No, no, no. no. Meek Mill had a moment. It was just for the wrong reason. I'm just not going to say that because the little baby had a hot year that he's hotter or more superior to Meek Mill. He just ain't to me. Was, was Lil Baby's not. year bigger than Megan's? Last year? Same. Same. Lad 2020? Probably the same. I you get sure? 2020, I get a baby. Lil, Lil baby. baby. Okay. All right. The just year, the no, year before, asking. since you that brought was... her up, do you want to get into other topic? I know no, now I want to know who the other rapper is. Uh, That people comparing? Yeah. Well, since you brought it up, the money. No, no, you said you had two anyway. You said you had two rappers that people compare to other rappers. I think it was Meek and... Oh, I Lil thought Baby. you meant you had two other ones? separate. Yeah. You brought oh, up no. him too, but I mean... We, that's no, I mean, short. that's just... That, that was just short. to me. That's to me, I think that nigga, like, really... He really he nice. been... A, he being his bag. He yeah, does. he's up there with Jid and all them other niggas. He, he nigga was he was bad. one of those guys I didn't. And I ain't really mean that when I said he already passed his day. It was like a I joke. I know it was a joke. Like, yeah. That nigga really. He, he was Lil he Baby has, was one of those going to though because Ti won't rapping that good at that age. Huh? At what age? How old? Demani like, like seventeen. 17 right? Oh yeah, that nigga's yeah, a child. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Right. Actually, he might be older. But but, but we got to be careful when we put legends up there like that because that should be. That's, that's like, hold on, look, you gotta make clear what you're saying. Damani about to be Steph Curry. And, yeah. yeah, I can see that. Facts. <laughs> T. I, I hear, I hear. No, T. But, but like J. When Cole, you... Andre 3000, like, and, and those are great niggas to be influenced by. When I hear him rap, I just hear those influences. It's, it's just like when you compare Meek to DMX, I'm, I'm like that. Bruh, that it's the street was... energy that I feel like they I, I, I get what you like, mean. We'll agree to disagree. But I, I just we'll feel like more that. niggas will ride we'll for that. DMX in the streets. I mean, niggas will ride for that, DMX, period. Like that, that's more the than a lot of niggas, right period. There. More than a lot of niggas. That's not even comparable. Yeah, we talking DMX, about street ties. My second favorite rapper of all time. Yeah, we talking about street ties. Like, like not, when DMX not even dies, I'm cry. It's not even comparable. More I don't niggas, even relate to most more of More niggas shit. will ride with... D- strangers will ride with DMX because they love his story and him more than most rappers. Meek Mill ain't never performed in front of a whole island. Boom. I feel you, Damn. but I still... Who has, though? Like, that's a very energy. short look. Biggie's done I still go DMX. with the street energy is similar. You can agree to disagree. No, no, we're talking about something that. else. Now. We're not. See, but with DMX, no, you still comparing. But with DMX, it. it was the street, like it was, a and movie. it was the pop. Yeah, and it was everybody yeah, else. Meek ain't never had no pop. Meek ain't had it's, all of that together. Right. I, I mean, that's, yeah, he was on a like, Mariah I song. That's cool. Who had a like, song? like, like one time? Jay- did? No, yeah. I didn't know. Right, like one time, Jay Z had a I song. I still see. He's saying in dreams and nightmares. I see similarities. I still see similarities between the two. Like it's not completely. Synonymous are the same, but I still see similar. You're saying that, that there's the same energy. Yeah. Okay. I feel me. like right. the the, uh, the same streets that fuck with DMX are similar to some of the same streets that fuck with yeah. Meek Mill. It may not be yeah, it, the same amount of love, uh-huh. but it's 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 similar. Yeah. It's just the, like like um when he said how DMX had the streets and the pop and shit. Yeah. All at once, it reminds me of when when Jay Z was on uh on um Come and Get Me where he said. I didn't cross over. I brought the, I brought 
the suburbs to the hood. Yeah. You know, normally them niggas don't understand what you do until I made them understand that I just not the third. Mm-hmm. Probably more so. Than not even know the verse. No, because I mean, no, I want. Shit, my memory. <laughs> no, I want to look. No, well, if niggas, <laughs> real niggas already know what I'm talking about, but whatever. Um, real niggas know the verse. Yeah, but I can't. I don't want to exactly. do a whole. I gotta yeah, like go exactly. into like what the whole Thank verse is. You make me get off point. Shut up. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is that like, <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. Next time. <laughs> Next time. All right. Fuck. These niggas is Fuck. too scared to talk about. Five it, seconds I'm is talk. up. Too niggas. scared to talk about what? These niggas too scared to talk about. I've never it, been but. afraid to holler about I'm anything. 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 About anything. anything. Now you can remember a verse. Um, I'm a the first, but I'm gonna talk about it. Yeah, exactly, about nigga. It was a hook. I'm gonna talk about it. Um, talk about okay, it's not nigga. a hook either. Yes, no. on Renegade, yes, it was. Oh, yeah, you right. Never been afraid to talk about anything. Now anything, you can remember anything. a verse. Anything. Boo. But, uh, <laughs> Shut up. Uh, <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Eric, what are you doing? That was real gay, my nigga. Boo. Cut that out. <laughs> Boo this man. Uh, Boo. <laughs> Megan the Stout, and I'm not. Wait, was this all, the next let me topic? say this. Yes, let me say that. Yeah, then we segue into a different topic. Sigu. We're about to. Now, because you said the Megan have the a bigger year last yeah. year. Yeah, did Megan that was actually a good segue. I think she did. Segway. Oh, never mind. Never mind. But that leads into this topic, and let me say this: It's mm-hmm. always protect black women at wait, all costs. Wait, 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 wait! Before you do that, you just said you think she had a bigger year last year. No, I was oh, asking. Yeah, I think it's close. Like, but you about to, but savage. you about to say what you about to say? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make sense, dog. <laughs> Good. Uh, I you just want to see it play out. Go ahead. Go ahead. Might have a point. <laughs> no, 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 no! Come on, Might come on! Just point. let it play out. Let it play out. Come on. I want to hear this. Let it play Go out. Ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Rock out, dog. Out of question. What's that? You fucked it up, bro. with Beyonce came out last year, right? Yes. And that was bigger than anything. It must be no, it was one of the biggest songs. Well, that was bigger with than or anything. Or without Beyonce, it's one of the biggest songs. It's yeah, Beyonce but, did yeah, that but, shit to but, another level. But she gave her a stimulus package for That's real. That's a fact. Spe- and they both from Yeah. yeah. But Lil Baby had a Nation. couple different songs. I want songs. Beyonce to I'm drop that OnlyFans. Lil Baby got there. Damn, bro. It's going to sound like I'm attacking this woman. It's not the it. case. Just say it. Let me say this. Say I it. like Megan Thee Stallion. Say Do you I not want to say it? Because I'll say I'm it for say you. It. I think she's... No, you know I, Nigga from Durham. Like yeah, you talking about we scared? Wait, are you not from Durham? Well, he's talking about we scared. I'm from multiple places. Nah, nigga from Hills, bro. He's from H Vegas. H Vegas. Don't ever say that shit. That shit. That's what Ron calls it. Who? <laughs> Ron don't know crazy. what he be talking about. That That's nigga didn't have genuine wine at his wedding. Stop. That's it. crazy. But, I wish uh, he did, though. I'm a fan of Megan. I've shown her love before. So Shout out, don't think I'm trying to attack Megan Thee Stallion because that's not what's happening. You could never say I'm attacking black women. I love black women. Literally. The, the only woman I've ever loved is black. She know who she is. Shout out to you. But, uh... Oh, this is nigga getting deep. not doing deep. that. Come on, now. Anywho, let me get into this real shit for I a second. I ain't never loved that nobody. So I feel like... I feel like... So Damn. Is what? Megan Thee Stallion overhyped because of the Tory Lane shooting situation and people making her out to be the victim? Deep. And because of the Rock Nation, Jay-Z... Are you asking us to respond? Jay Z, Beyonce ties. No, no. I'm saying this is the next topic. Are you? Are you? Okay, but so this is a rhetorical question. A Tory Lanez, the Tory Lanez, Jay Z, Rock Nation uh, affiliations. This is rhetorical. Are you asking? Or are you really you asking? Are y'all gonna talk about it? Or y'all? Gonna... We're all gonna talk yeah, about nigga, it. Okay. You, you want us to say it first, shit. or do you want to say what you want to say first? I want to say what I want to say first. Go ahead. All right. So. So why you ask us? No, so you'll know what we talking about, nigga. I already knew. No, you didn't. You we just went over this. Harry Potter book, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way he said. Fuck nigga. the bucket eyes. <laughs> but, uh, we know you can't read Harry Potter, so we're gonna let you uh, whatever it was. But uh, Cat in the Hat. Yeah. <laughs> cat in the Hat. We're gonna let you read Cat in the Hat. I don't know. <laughs> they just uh, walk off. My bad. I like, Go ahead. I like Megan, but. Things that I've been hearing, and this is let me say this. A lot of this, this is hype. Uh, this is this is hypothetical because nobody knows what the fuck actually happened. I do. So no, you don't. I I just uh, <laughs> my eye <laughs> my eye. I'm just gonna say <laughs> hypothetically, like let's say hypothetically. <laughs> don't let me talk. You're gonna keep saying shit to make me laugh. Uh, <laughs> my Jesus ear. Christ. This nigga's a fucking alcoholic. But, uh, no, I'm not. It's coming out on the pod. <laughs> niggas know I don't but, drink. Uh, 
Yeah, okay. Uh, y'all keep making me lose my fucking My thought. bad, my y'all bad. Go ahead. go ahead, go ahead. Y'all talk. Y'all. Okay, so so the question is, is Meg the Stallion overhyped because of the Tory Lane situation and the Jay-Z Rock Nation ties or whatever? Mm-hmm. I'm going to say that that's wrong. Mm-hmm. I don't think that that's the case because Meg the Stallion was having a big ass year blowing up before that shit happened, and you know she was. She was. You know she was. Oh. Now, now whether or not. I interrupt. No. Now whether yes. or not she. <laughs> no, no, because you, you just asked me to go ahead. I'll show you, asshole. Yeah. Go ahead, Nick. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, because you made me remember now that you said that. Say go it ahead. Again. Go ahead. Say Rock out. What did you say? Say it again. Say it one time. She You're, was having a big ass. She year was having anyway. a year before that shit Pause. happened. She was. She was. But but what? I Ain't feel no butt. Like, yeah, I feel well, she, really, she, got butt butt. Her, she, she got a butt. She got a butt on her. Got a, she got a don't don't. She got a don't. Uh, <laughs> anywho, that nigga had a moment bigger than me. All right, go ahead. Who Tory, Tory Lanez? No. Oh, yes he did. Soldier Boy. Uh, Stop. Soldier Boy had like more like a that was more like Stop a. It. That, that Soldier Boy had a couple moments. No, not no, he had one. Drake stole his. Not big and yeah, stop, stop. What are you talking stop, about? Not bigger than me. Stop it. Come on, stop. Stop. Let's get back on topic here. All right. uh yeah, one outside. I just believe. Um, <laughs> what the fuck is this nigga doing? <laughs> Roy. So this nigga go believes ahead, that uh, because of the Tory Lane situation, Meg is getting a lot of sympathy and shit. You know, no, nah, you know. What? Let me finish. That makes a lot of sense because finish? it kind of reminds me of the Kanye West situation. Because my fucking memory, what, and then y'all keep interrupting me and making me laugh and then talking <laughs> over me. <laughs> So which one do you want us to stop? Because we can't stop all, all of it. Can I just go ahead? All of it, no. Let me finish. Well, come on! Let me finish. You look like Eminem in recovery with that fucking jacket. <laughs> but, uh, and you look like fucking Charlie Clips. God damn. I don't... But, uh, hold on, hold on. We're not doing this roasting shit. Do. Are you going to say what you're going to say? You want me to go ahead? Yeah, I'm going to go, Okay, Charlie. come on then. Go, Charlie. <laughs> <All right>. Chuck. Uh, <laughs> I don't look uh, like that nigga. You do. You uh, do. He got killed by Lux. Yeah, okay. You luck. But, uh, god damn, shut up. I'm gonna finish if you let me finish. I just believe that, um, things that I've been hearing in the industry, Rumors. it's a lot more to that Tory, Megan and Stallion situation that a lot of people know. I just feel like people jumping out the window and taking Megan's side without knowing all the facts. He shot a I believe, woman. nigga, we don't know that. We just going off of what we heard and what one person said. We don't. Fucking no. Okay, Apparently, so. she don't even fucking know because she was drunk and her back was turned. We just going off of what she said. But they all say he had the gun. Who is they? If you going off of Twitter, nigga, I'm going to slap you. What are you going off of? You talking about because of things I've been hearing? Things all of this is shit we've been hearing. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Like, what do you mean? He makes a valid point. This <laughs> is all shit, shit that we've been we hearing. So if you I've can't heard. give like reputable things sources. If you, I ain't saying no names. I ain't saying I then well, so then, like we can't. This is all speculation then. I ain't going off of fucking Twitter. My sources are way more reliable. I mean, I'm not either. You know I'm not. I'm not going off Twitter either, but we don't know if your sources are legitimate or not. If I said some Stephen names, Stephen A. If I said some names, <laughs> Chris nigga, Broussard. Nope. I don't know say some names. I don't know any of them niggas. They some su- Are they are they niggas <laughs> close to the situation? Is. Are they close to the situation? <sighs> All no, I'ma say that, that means is, no. Nah, they could be, but I'm not gonna reveal my sources. Well, well he know he know uh, her I'ma friend. Say, he know her friend. Kelsey. <laughs> yeah. I wish I knew her. <laughs> she kind of liked it. I mean, low wait. key, she looked better than Megan. But whatever. Uh, Look better, yeah, but I don't know if the body no. better. That's tough. Let's stop. No. <laughs> Let's stop. So last night on Monday Night Raw, uh, Man, shut up. I don't nobody care about them niggas. Well, 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 watch your well, mouth, you keep G. Stop it. I don't give a fuck about them niggas right now. Cowboy Bebop trash. This I'm, lying. I'm lying. I'm lying like, like a motherfucker. On I that. know. <laughs> I was hoping we was going back to the Fye store so I could see if they got another copy. Damn, I'm off topic. But. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We ain't never gonna get through this shit. Fuck it, man. Let's just switch. No, no, I'm we ain't switching shit because I want to respond to this. I believe that certain people are being paid by Rock Nation and Jay Z to ride with Megan. I think that on some Jay-Z Kanye Megan. shit. I think on some Kanye. Kanye I will. I will, and I'll show you how <laughs> I'm gonna bring it into this, and it'll All make right, cool. sense. All right. I think on some Kanye shit. Since she lost her mother mentally, she ain't really been there. Like I think. Like, I mean, how do you really deal with losing a parent? Like, that's some shit you never really, like, you learn, I guess, to cope with it, but you'll never be over it, per se. Of course not. And I feel like, and I feel like, like we've said off camera, like, her mother was her world. Like, she, I don't think she really had real genuine friends like that. 
So I think certain people maybe have come around her since her mother passed. And her friend said that, and too. And it's influenced, influenced her. Maybe it might have influenced the situation with Tori. Who knows? Only they know. It'll come out in court eventually. But uh, I think her music has been suffering since then. Like, I just feel like her music ain't. It ain't what it was before would I say Savage like I feel like Savage is like probably the last song she had where she was just like kind of going that was in. last year I know but like Savage and everything before that I don't think it's been like hitting like that well I don't know cause that song what's it called Body, body that does hit Body yaddy yaddy that's my shit I love, <laughs> her. I love <laughs> her for that song you love never mind. and then right, uh, what's the body. other joint uh, uh, the Crybaby joint that song do hit. The real Maybe I'm lying. Yeah, shit, <laughs> nigga. That's what we're trying to exactly, tell man. you. Exactly. Am I just that big of a you Tory fan? Damn summer jam. Yeah, you, you you want to forgive that nigga so bad. I mean, well, no, he makes great music. You can still enjoy the music, but if it's no, no, true, no, no, I, I really do believe in my heart of hearts. That nigga. I, I do mean, believe in my heart of hearts that like, cause she's connected to Jay and them niggas. Yeah, that like they paying people to like either stay quiet. Or ride with Megan, even though they may not even want to. But I believe Jay Z, like that nigga's the godfather of fucking black mm-hmm. music, and yeah, I feel like well he should nobody be. want their fucking career tainted or destroyed because he's done it before, and he didn't have half the power he had Damn, years ago that him? he does now. Can we agree to that? He hasn't had half the power that he had back in the day compared to now, like <laughs> at all. So I feel like nobody wants to go against Jay Z and Beyonce because that I mean but, look, look at the remember, I ain't gonna do it because y'all I mean, want that at interview. People who have Carrie Hilson, where's she at? Nowhere to be found. Acting retarded. Oh, um, she look at it. I lost everything. Shit, <laughs> my bad. But don't say retarded. Anymore. Is it playing? Yeah. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Hell, I can't see. Just because you can't see that green know. shit. <laughs> ah, my eye. <laughs> Anyway, but yeah, I feel what you're saying. They they do ruin a lot of careers. So we need to we need to calm down. A lot of motherfuckers <laughs> won't. They're not gonna go against Jay and them niggas. And for I the will. motherfuckers that and for the motherfuckers that do, they have the risk of their career being tainted or completely destroyed. Mm-hmm. So I lost it all, bro. Y'all just go ahead. Well, he okay. a bitch, nigga well, first of all, remember. First of all, ahead. you. Uh, Asking because I don't think you're saying this, but you're asking if um, Megan is overhyped because cause you're saying her music has suffered since. I just don't know if she get all these awards and this look if that situation didn't happen. If we're talking and about if, a, if we're talking about awards, we about to have a this. way different conversation. I don't, know. I don't know if she get all those awards and this great look that she be getting mm-hmm. if she didn't have the Jay Z Beyonce stimulus package and then people at Rock Nation. Mm-hmm. Riding, riding like, with her. I was about to say riding her, or <laughs> riding with her. But even like before she was with them, she was getting a lot of look. But he's saying she she's was, getting, but she's, not to this. He's level. saying she's getting more of a not to this more level. of a now. after she got that Beyonce Savage remix, and then after the toy situation happened. I know what she's you mean. been getting a lot more shit and looks and and like the only odds at award shows that I think other people probably would have gotten if the they only, had the same political connections that she did. Can the I ask you what other people you talking about? I mean, shit. The only reason I disagree. On the Grammys, well, it's, wait, she on, got a on. Grammy and he don't. The only or reason she got nominated and he, he don't. He got nominated. The only reason I disagree. He did and get she nominated got way for more album. Grammy nominations. She didn't get nominated didn't. for album. But she got. She had nominated awards. for song. But she got other awards Excuse than me. he and a lot of other people probably. Hold up, nigga. We having a conversation. Cause I'm about to. Yeah, fuck all that. But he got. I mean, she got no, other that. awards. <laughs> no, fuck that shit. She got other awards that I think other people probably should have got. You can say but the same who? thing for Cardi. Lil Baby, the baby. I don't, the baby ain't had the same year he had the year before. Okay, but listen, listen. Cardi B has gotten a lot of, like, awards and stuff over people who deserved it more as well. Yeah. So the only reason I... Connect, but her career... No, hold, time out. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Time out, time out, time out. And that's the exact reason why I'm I'd su- I kind of disagree with you saying that about Meg, mm-hmm. because Cardi B was ge- it ain't no way in the hell her album was better than Pusha T's album. No, like let's, like we all agree with that. Okay, yeah. So the fact that she still got those awards political connections. Yeah. So if we're gonna talk about the albums, we're I mean the award shows, we're about to have a whole different conversation because mm-hmm. you saw what they how dirty they did the weekend. All because he wanted to perform at the That's fucking another Grammys. person that you could put above her. 
Right. Okay. Well, yeah, but she, he's not a rapper though. Still, but awards. She oh, well, got yeah, way absolutely. More than her. But um, also, way more. It's kind of like yes. yeah. But also, it's kind of like Finding a lights. It's kind of like a Kanye West Taylor Swift situation Heartless? because if you remember. If you remember, like, the whole... Has the, Megan made any song bigger than those two in her whole career? No. no. Not Blind and Light. Blind and Light's a song... You already know how I feel she about that shit. She made a song bigger... No, no, no. It's debatable. Uh, 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 it's debatable. Then. I was about to say the box already written. Nah, Savage. That's debatable. It's debatable. Mm, nah, set the, mm, the, box is, the, bo- the box is... The, the box went bro. diamond, bro. Like, that the was... already. Yes. It, yeah. Damn. Off of streams, but you know, like <laughs> it don't count. Then. <laughs> no, no, physical no, copy. No, it, today it does count. Shit, it, me. Fuck that shit. No, how many times counts, a nigga bro. gotta play that for it to go diamond? Like, I like, you, but yeah. I like physical copies. It has yeah, to be nobody played does physical ten copies anymore. billion I, times. That's you. I talking about the industry. That's how they calculate I, things. Show me. I do. Physical what are physical copies? Yeah, in my room. Of what? What's the last album Everything. you bought? What's, What's the, the last, last album, album you, you went bought? to Best Buy and bought? What's the last album you went to Best Buy or Walmart and Weekend. bought? Weekend. Okay, so... Last album. Wait, what album? The last album that it just came out. What's the name of it? Yeah, exactly. What a fucking this name nigga of the album, nigga. This nigga don't know. <laughs> you don't know. This is uh, after hours, nigga. You look don't who know. You, I'm the you got the deluxe though. No, you're not. Yes. You got the deluxe. <laughs> yeah. How when they don't even sell the deluxe? Exactly, yet. nigga. I got it on my phone. <laughs> exactly, nigga. That's Boom. streams. What are you talking about? Like, you lose. On my you phone. lose. You don't have a you physical get deluxe. Yes, you do. lost. No, 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 not the deluxe. Good day, sir. You just told they don't sell it, so I'm gonna. I said, nigga. Good day, sir. But I got the physical regular one. All this yelling for my. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> no, my, but uh, no, I, like, like on real shit. Mm. This isn't um overlapping or recording, is it? No, this is already recorded. Okay, all right. so anyway, uh, I think it's kind of like a Kanye Taylor Swift situation too, because you remember when Kanye? I'm a t- hold on. I'm gonna tell you in a minute that you know. So back at the VMAs in 2009, he went up on stage, said Beyonce should have won this fucking award. You, you remember that, right? He was wrong. No, he was not. No, he wasn't. He was right. He just I mean, went Taylor about the Swift wrong shouldn't have won, but it shouldn't have been right. Beyonce. You just hate her. Cause Look, never. anyway, he went up on stage and interrupted her. <laughs> now, after, hey, fuck you. I'm saying. He went up on stage and interrupted the girl. Every award show <laughs> for the next year after that, she won every award. She won album of the year to Grammy. No, I'm still talking. Bro. She won album of the year to Grammys. She won uh, Artist of the Year over in in an award category that included Michael Jackson, Beyonce. T- see y'all niggas ain't listening. Taylor Swift. <laughs> she won like a- a- any award she was nominated for for the mm-hmm. next year after that Kanye shit. Artist of the what over Michael Jackson? I'm sorry, I didn't hear. You. At the American Music Awards. Yeah, those are white people awards, so we don't care. Are the Grammys not white people awards? Yes. Okay then. Yeah. So, so anyway, we don't care. What I'm. So- but I hear you. Go ahead. This, go is ahead. The, this is the discussion, though, because Megan is getting all this you know a, attention I and shit. I try to talk. <laughs> like, like Me- Megan's getting all this attention and shit. So ah. he's trying to say that she's ah. getting all this attention because she's getting pity from the Tory Lane ah. situation. Go. I'm comparing it to Taylor Swift winning every award after Kanye interrupted her on stage. Mm-hmm. Getting shot and a nigga cutting you off is two different but things. But she's white. So, so she her. might as well have been a, shot. I wish a nigga would shoot her. <laughs> what the fuck? Up, no, no, that's, no, that's how white people treat treat that situation. Like Kanye's the big angry black guy that doesn't have any fucking sense, and he interrupted her glorious moment and shit. And they gave her a lot of sympathy after that. And she won every fucking award. She was uh, she was. I'm not comparing for. a black woman getting shot to a white chick getting interrupted. Nigga, I'm trying to tell you how they. I get, are I get what you're doing. I get what you're doing. You don't, want, you. you don't want contradicting with someone. I hear you. 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 <laughs> this whole thing is a contradiction. It's all rumors. I know. mean, humans are contradictions. Know she, she really God shit started over years ago, but whatever. You said what? What you? Ladies and gentlemen, that's the pop. <laughs> Wait, no, what that nigga just say? <laughs> this is a jazz humans physical are, production. Humans thing. are a contradiction. God shit started over. Uh, no, I just mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I don't. No, no. I mean, I it's gonna happen regardless. I want to come back as me. I want to come back as me. That ain't gonna happen. You wanna come back I want to live. Meek? No, it's me. Me as me. Meek I want to be a meek. That nigga ain't had a meal? moment. I do have a question now. Yo, what's up? I'm gonna play the disc for you. How did Beyonce win Video of the Year but mm-hmm. lose Best Female Video? Because how that work? You talking about the VMAs? How that work? You talking about the VMAs? Yeah. 
How that work? Politics. As That's what Illuminati. Kanye was talking As about. Illuminati. That's what Kanye was talking about. But I think Lady Gaga. Look, 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 look. Sports wise, how the fuck does uh, Giannis win? Um, because he was better. Shut up and listen. I'm not, he was bring, better? I'm not bringing LeBron up. Shut oh, up and okay. listen. Brittle? How the fuck does he bring up? Or how the fuck does he win <laughs> MVP and doesn't make All First NBA? Shit about uh, first uh, team uh, All yeah, NBA. That's as good as. Th- that's how? what I'm saying. That doesn't make it doesn't sense make at all. Any sense. <laughs> Who's that? Yeah. I mean, but, but, yikes, uh, we still on the pot. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> this my wife. Stop it. Nigga, we still on the pot. Damn. Anywho, uh, we're going to the next topic. We're going to stay, stay I think it. it's about time to wrap it up because we already have like an hour. Don't 30. we have another t- Let's get URL first. URL for what? I guess I'll skip the Drake shit. What Drake shit? Yeah, don't nobody care about it. No, what Drake shit? He don't care. It's called good. What Drake shit? We bring shit? him up every podcast. So I don't get because he's the biggest. And then it's gonna sound like you I'm know a who hater. We didn't bring up though. Who? Man, <laughs> God damn, we <laughs> was gonna make it. We was gonna make it you through this bad, episode. Buddy. I just knew we was. Oh, oh he said Batman. Batman. Oh, the Dark Knight, the Cape Crusader, Bruce yeah. Wayne. That f- he oh, got broke by. We're not gonna end this podcast without mentioning. He got my his wife, back broke by Wayne Zendaya oh, yeah, and John David Washington's new movie coming out. What did you just say? He got I don't his back that broke by, by Bane. Nigga. He got that broke that back mountain with Bane. No, I said he got his back broke by Bane. That sounds. Zendaya I mean, the and David Washington. <laughs> That's not that David, who the fuck is David Washington? <laughs> I just don't want to talk about that weird shit you talking about. But uh, Batman got his That's... back broke by Bane. What's weird about that? Did you not see the Dark Knight Rises? Not what you said. Did you not? I read the comic books. Zendaya he broke the back. David bat. Washington. John David Washington. He broke Washington. the back. That's how I wrote it. John David Washington. <laughs> this nigga can't read. read. <laughs> he can't remember shit. He no, can't read. I wrote it down wrong. Uh, uh, just like Zendaya Zendaya and John David Washington <laughs> have a dope movie coming out. I'm excited. How do we know it's getting Oscar attention? It literally how do we know it's dope? It literally comes out the day after my birthday. So my baby Zendaya gave me an early birthday gift so yeah, I'm yeah nigga you basically a cuck you I'm gotta watch excited. her fuck a whole nother you're nigga you're a cuck Kiki <laughs> Palmer fucking colonizer and you let it happen <laughs> so did Zendaya to see Zendaya's fuck numerous colonizers no, what did. you mean I'm Stevie Wonder to the bullshit <laughs> <laughs> so for your birthday Kiki you wanna watch Palmer, her fuck another Kiki nigga Palmer, I respect it I respect Kiki I'm not mad Palmer. at it G Kiki Palmer put the strap on. Ah, right, yeah, we're done. It's all these lesbians <laughs> it's fuck her. Well, she, if she you had video this, for your birthday, I'm okay with that. Actually, no, you're not. So the yes, col- I am. and the colonizer too. No, so anyway, the that. movie she comes did. out uh, in February on Netflix. Literally a day after my birthday, I'm excited. And it looks you really good. All that out. Yeah. Your birthday? No, what I just said. <laughs> Why? Cause Kiki, I like Kiki. Nah, nigga, talk that shit now. I like Kiki. Talk that big shit now, nigga. I like Kiki. Fuck that. I like Kiki. Fuck Zendaya. I want fuck. to fuck. I can't Zendaya. wait. <laughs> I almost disrespected her city, but nah, I don't want them. Well, I don't want them niggas. Die. I don't That's want them open, niggas on my baby. head. You gonna die? Yeah, I don't want them niggas on my head. We gonna talk about Smack Volume Seven or no? Yeah. Car looking weak. Uh. Tay Rock, uh, Tay Rock, huh? they look better than the Shut one up. they just had. Tay Rock about to get three zero. I agree. Yeah, I'm not watching that battle. Any battle this or just that battle? This just that hate. battle. I mean, I don't like either this one of those hate artists, hate so why her. would I watch it? You don't hate her. You don't like neither one. Of them? No, I don't like Verb or Tay Rock. I don't hate a Verb. He's just not one of my favorites. What do you think about K. Sean and Chilla Jones? I got K. Sean. Mm, I got. Mm, that's yeah, a tie. I got, I got Sean too. I want. I'm going with Chill. K. Sean might win, but I'm going to go. Sean ain't lost in a minute. Chill ain't one in a minute. To battle daylight so daylight can embarrass him. Uh, who else is on the card? Like, cause cause you about to get a different. I want to see Jersey. Arsenal versus Danny Myers. Why does Arsenal hate Danny Myers? Why does anybody hate? Do you Danny believe Myers? in a parallel universe? I do. <laughs> <laughs> I know who That's you going funny. for, nigga, Mister West Coast. Everything. That's Arsenal not, ain't from the West Coast. That, yeah, no, nigga, no, you Danny going for Myers Danny? Is. No, I'm going for Arsenal. What? Why for Arsenal? And I like uh, Danny, Danny Myers. Myers about to kill Arsenal. Oh, this nigga Danny don't Myers. fuck with the West. Nah, that's a lie. Danny crazy. Myers about to destroy disaster of Math Hoffa. Nigga. Arsenal overrated, though. You already know Math Hoffa. Oh, huh? Fuck with the West. No, I like this. I don't like that nigga shit he be trying to pull. But like, he, he should have been got fucked up for that. But I so go do it. I mean, I'm not gonna talk about illegal affairs on the podcast. <laughs> but anywho, 
he's basically the Arabian Eminem anyway. When I first saw him, that's what I thought. <laughs> Why does everybody compare Eminem, 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 Eminem? I don't like yeah. that shit. Remember when, remember when Cassidy did that shit? Yeah. yeah. And that shit was accurate as hell. B Dot and Shotgun <laughs> Shook. Uh, B Dot is going hard. dirty 30, that nigga. That's disrespectful for him to even battle Shotgun Shook. It is. I don't know why. Shotgun Shook is not. That nigga try. Has Shotgun Shook ever won a battle? Shotgun Shook. Every every, every battle I've seen, he's always getting killed. Nothing Dr. Miami can do for that motherfucking waste. Stop it. (laughs) (laughs) But no, no, no. Serious question. Because every battle I've seen, Shotgun Shook, he's getting big body and a little ass. He he lost to Sharon. That Charlie Clips (laughs) roasted. He he lost. He hilarious. Charlie Clips destroyed him. He lost to Sharon. They Crips. They Crips. Uh, 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 who else did he battle? Av. Av 2 won them. Av 3-0. <laughs> no, 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 no. He didn't 3 on Because that, that first, I'll do construction work on Av with a jackhammer. One line. That don't win you a battle. On that pocket tapping. On that pocket tapping. <laughs> I want to see Twerk wanna, versus I've never seen Shotgun Shook like, win a fucking battle. See ever. who? Shotgun Shook. I've never seen him win a battle. That, I can't think of a battle. He beat him, man. No, the fuck? I, no. What, what, which battle was that? I heard he want to come back and battle Mook. Who? Who he gives man. a fuck? No. He doesn't deserve that. So what he, that's what I heard him say. No. He beat him, man. No. Yeah, he I, No. You didn't watch the battle. What? No, because that doesn't So how can... Like, how can I, Hitman barely win battles? He win first that's rounds. Not, Hitman wins a lot of battles. Just he, he wins more battles than Shotgun Shook. I've seen Hitman Wait, win who? a battle. Who? He beat Conceited. Who? Hitman? <laughs> don't Conceited like, who? Don't look at me like that. Conceited who? <laughs> you, slow it down. I just <laughs> fuck all that. <laughs> we be motherfucking magic. He's stop. Who have battling? DNA. Oh, Ab about to Ab about smoke. He's not gonna nigga. smoke him. He not he gonna is. smoke DNA because he's he gonna, he gonna be aggressive. DNA can't yeah. handle aggressive. Well, that's not true. DNA oh, can't handle. That's not true. Uh, he beat Arsenal. He beat th- disaster. Disaster. That's not great. That's disrespectful. I'm talking about aggressive. It's a it's a yes, difference between Arsenal. aggressive and disrespectful. That's true. Talking shit about his dead. <laughs> Daddy I feel some shit about your dead daddy. That's disrespectful. Now your dead daddy. No, <laughs> Arsenal can get aggressive. Now if he would have been like, I ain't gonna say shit about your dead daddy. Nigga. That's that's what Ab do. <laughs> nah, exactly. uh, Ab doesn't do that. Did that you see much. him against K? Did you see him versus Shug? No, but did you but see? But they him got real K-Shug? beef. That's because no, Shug always be, bro. Uh, that's because Shug always be screaming in niggas' faces like that. Charlie Clips even said, "Nigga, you Harambe." <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. It was, in that, it was in that tool to an arsenal of clips. I, I mean, uh, goods. I know. DNA have a hard time with a <laughs> nigga. They got elephant and he, he was like, ah, like he, he screamed on that nigga. Uh, clips looked him up and down like, this nigga Haram, man. <laughs> goods laughing in that nigga face. <laughs> New Jersey twerk versus Jay the Nightwing. Twerk. Can't wait for that. Twerk gonna win that. I don't know. I just want Jay Light I like Jay Sean Nightwing, and Daylight know. versus Loaded Lux. That's all I want to see. Daylight wait, 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 wait. Is that, is that the whole card? Not. Wait, is that the whole card? Daylight. Is this that the whole card? Light of mine, Excuse I'm going to let it shine. Is that the whole card? Kill Sean. Is that the whole card before we get into this? Yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah, uh, Daylight going to lose to Lux. Daylight going to lose to Sean. Lux is going to beat Daylight. Sean going to beat Daylight. Oh, the fuck he not? He's going to die. No, he's not. Wait, wait, wait. Sean? Wait, hold on. Tell me about which Sean is showing up. The one that beat Verb? Jackson, Sean. No, he's still going to die. As much as you want to go, he, he, you, you got to be smooth. You want to make a flip for that? That he I, will, as a oh, fan, wouldn't want to see. No, he, but if he did it, he will make a flip of that. Because that's what Daylight do. I know, but do you want him to make the one that people don't want to hear? What are you talking about? The truth. <laughs> you want him to do that? I don't want to do it. I do. He I already did it to rock. No, I want to do it. I mean, I, Not damn, Michael I want to see him do it. <laughs> oh, you talking about yeah. the train. Because you know. Transactions. That was Arsenal. No, I'm saying. I mean, good. No, good. I'm saying because no, it's a reference to No, wait, then what are you talking about? You, you talking about. flip of the Michael Jackson shit? He already did that. Yeah, you was about to say it. Daylight did he that against Chilla. Into some, like, he did that any shit. Say. He did that against no. Chilla. Oh. Have, well, then what? Have you seen him battle Chilla about? Jones? I ain't saying it because I, oh, I shit. love Michael Jackson and I, if shit wasn't true. Oh, no, don't do that. Oh, shit. Don't true. do that. Watch do him not flip do that. that shit. Don't do that. If he was to try to pull some Michael Jackson shit in that battle, watch him flip. He's not, he's not going to do that. Yeah. He's not going to do that. Because K-Shawn ain't going to. He already he going did into the Michael Jackson once. He's going to do it twice. No, no. They both did it. You remember when he Oh, did, yeah, yeah, yeah. They like did it against Chill Jones. Whose was better? K-Shawn's. K-Shawn's. 
I lean toward Kayshawn's because he had more the window. No. Walking out like an AC, yeah. then I slide to the bathroom, peep, then the bathroom, peep, then go straight to JC. Oh! I am a little teapot. <laughs> here's my handle, here's my spout. Oh. I'm a little teapot. <laughs> it popped on cam. <laughs> you like the twerk. They like him kill that nigga. <laughs> no, he's not. Yes, he is. No, he's, not. he's not gonna kill Lux. Kayshawn. Uh, yeah. He's gonna kill him. No, he's not. It's gonna, gonna, gonna depend too. on which Kayshawn shows you know, up. I ain't gonna say he's gonna kill Lux. The Kayshawn, the battle verb might be unstoppable because nah. nobody could have beat Kayshawn. They like the battle Tay Rock is unstoppable. We're gonna take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. All right. Oh, <laughs> so. Oh, uh, you click play. That of course. Crazy. <laughs> oh, you can pause it again. Nope. <laughs> This has been another great episode of... Wait, was that it? Yeah, nigga, we already at one thirty. We didn't talk about Malcolm and Marie. This is He did already talk about you, you notice how both Denzel and uh, John David Washington played niggas named Malcolm? Hmm? They both gonna die, too. I mean, Shut wait, what? Up. Uh, if Wonder? you spoiled that movie, I swear to God. <laughs> Ninth Wonder what? He liked her shit? No, on the... Oh, that's the song. Anyway, the dive of chocolates in the champagne. Shut the f- This has been another episode of Steel Sharp and Steel. I'm going to keep it real. I have been your boy Ice, a.k.a. Suntan Superman, a.k.a. Baby Shaq, Baby a.k.a. Man, Mr. Suntan a.k.a. Superman. You a hating ass nigga. To my right man. has been Q. <laughs> Mo to the E to the. <laughs> to my left oh my has God, been. Because <laughs> Fredro started playing a nigga named It's Q. in the West. So, oh, Brand, you know, crazy. Brandy killed a person, right? Well, yeah. All right, let's see. She also, uh, what was that nigga? Uh, the nigga from IMX? Yeah, she, she fucked she, up his eye. She really that nigga was on the floor saying, My eye. <laughs> that was a good callback. That was a good callback. I'll give you that. <laughs> to my left has been. Do we have to do that? To my left <laughs> has been. <laughs> to the Man, left, to the left. <laughs> Everything you own in the. Neil wrote it, so fuck you, Vic. We'll be back next week. Same place, same time. We out. We out. God bless.